Hello there. From behind the yellow line, this is Shaman episode 211. My name is Kirk, and as always, I'm joined by my friend, and we will watch his career with great interest, Christian Rainwater. What's up, everybody? Our Big Thunder Topic of the Week is somehow Season of the Force Returned. It's season, then. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard Tramon, a Disneyland podcast. Please lower your head and watch your step while boarding. As a courtesy to other passengers, we ask that there be no eating, drinking, or smoking on board. In just a few moments, we will begin our trip into the Disneyland Resort News and Topic of the Week. Ladies and gentlemen, this tram is ready to depart. Driver, you are clear. Welcome back to Tramon, everyone. Happy Wednesday, and I guess happy season of the force. I don't know. We are your hosts. Kirk and Rain. What's up, Rain? So, since we've been recording the show, yeah, I feel like you've influenced me on a few things. Mm -hmm. Coffee mm -hmm. being the the most recent one. Mm -hmm. I am now, I would say, a coffee snob, right? Yeah. Some would say that this mustache was also influenced by you, <laughs> but I want to I want to make a clear. The haters was, will say this. the haters will say this. Yes, but it was not. This was an uh, an accident, an unfortunate accident today in the shower. So, it's. You have the denim right now, mm -hmm. and it's a whole look. Yeah. The denim and the long hair and the mustache. Yeah. You're doing a whole thing. Yeah. Um, are, are, did you, are you really into Beyonce's country album? Is that what happened? No, no, no. no you no. don't look like a country guy. I'm not a country but, guy. But you look more white. I do. I, but at the, on the same token, I look like my uncles. Mm. All my uncles that have mustaches. Theos. Yeah, my Theos, exactly, yeah, yeah. from my Mexican side. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is weird stuff, man. Feels weird. I, I, I'm debating whether I'm just going to like put a cutout of myself over the side <laughs> it, of the screen. No, the whole it doesn't. Time. You've had facial hair and it's been thick, so it's fine. Yeah. And you, you left the, it's going to grow out yeah, in it, no time. Yeah. It'll be a, yeah. a week or so. You're probably. fine, dude. Mine is like full force right now. I don't yeah. know if it's been this long before. I don't know if I'm going to trim it down. I just, your mustache or your, no, oh, the mustache. Okay. This is a little long, but I just trim like the lower part. Mm. We'll see though. So we'll it doesn't see. get into the lips. That stuff's annoying. Yeah, it's too annoying. Yeah. So I like push it. I even push it down and shave it. Mm. Uh, I should use the oil. I just haven't. I should probably use the oil too. I got like three or four, <laughs> four extra ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna allow you to influence me today. Ooh. With what? Before we do mousekeeping. Uh, oh yeah. Your for the camera for Paula. This is your. My family's Avena, which is oatmeal. Which is a uh, yeah sticky it's, oatmeal. Yeah, it's a. Um, a family recipe that I don't think I've ever seen anybody else make like Avena like this. Mm. Most of the time, Avena is a very watery thing. Like mm. uh, all, all Avena means is oatmeal in Spanish, right? But it's also has like a different connotation than just regular oatmeal. It's usually just a food with oats. Got it. What's in it? What are the okay. ingredients? So in this, there's um, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon that I let boil with just water for like... Oh, a sticks. Stick. Yeah. Okay. With like... For like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, turns the water yellow and the house smells great. Uh, oats, of course. Uh, abuelita. Mm -hmm. Okay. 2% milk. Mm -hmm. Evaporated milk. Mm -hmm. Condensed milk. Okay. Yeah. The tres leches. <laughs> yeah. So I got one pill for each leche. Yeah. <laughs> right here, everyone. Uh, I don't, I probably won't, don't need all three, but mm -hmm. I thought it would be funny if I took one pill for each <laughs> leche. So let's the, go. Tres, the tres pastillas. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna do live live thing, and then uh, and then I'll introduce mousekeeping while I eat the rest of it. So, so you can go. There is a. It's warm. Okay, good. It's warm, right? It's yeah. sticky. Yeah, there's a, there's a some nice uh, texture. Gelatinous. So I'm gonna take a yeah. bite. Try slop in the in the microphone. Sure, sure. Oh, <laughs> all right. I don't want to gross people out. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's um. Mostly cinnamon flavor, strong cinnamon. Yeah, it, um, I don't make it as sweet as my my mom. My yeah, grandma this make isn't it. that sweet. Yeah, the sweetness is almost like a oh, there's sugar, regular sugar too in it. Okay. Yeah, like uh, but like for the two cups of oats that I use, it's like a less than half a cup of sugar. Imagine the Quaker brown sugar mm -hmm. flavor, like in the bag, but the oats are squishy. And it has, it's not a burnt flavor, but like a cooked flavor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like this, uh, 
I want to say burnt, but not burnt like you burnt it. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. burned it. It like a just like an extra layer to it, like a darkness mm-hmm. to it. So yeah, this is good. So I can imagine this is better than just regular oatmeal for breakfast for sure. It is. It's just not that good for you considering all the stuff mm-hmm. in it, you know. But that uh, makes sense. The you're missing a major component to it, mm-hmm. which I probably should have brought. Do you have a toaster here? I have a toaster oven. You have a toaster oven. Okay. So toast with butter. Okay. Mm-hmm. The way that my whole family ate this stuff growing up was you just dip the toast. Mm-hmm. You straight up dip the toast and almost taco it, dude, in the oatmeal. And it is a wondrous, wondrous taste. Like pita and hummus. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. But, um, so when my sister and I would be at my grandma's and she would make this, my grandma would just buy a straight up loaf of bread for us. And we'd, we, we'd finish the loaf between my sister and I. So it, it would, I pace myself now. So two things stop her from being vegan. Bean and cheese burritos and, and avena. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah. 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 I, you've never had it before, right? No. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I made it at home today. Yeah. So. You always, I always give you crap. Cause yeah. you always talk about things you bake or make. And I'm like, yeah. okay, thanks for bringing it. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm just messing, but yeah. thank you. Yeah. While I eat this very sticky stuff, I will mute myself. But before we do that, <clears throat> let's wipe up the tears of people who don't like Star Wars episodes with mousekeeping. Hey, if this is your first time here, welcome aboard Tramon, a Disneyland podcast where Kirk and I talk about the Disneyland resort through and only through our eyes. Listen to full episodes every Wednesday or topic only uploads on Big Thunder Thursdays. If you enjoy the show, like, subscribe, comment, and review us wherever you can, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and of course, my favorite. You tubes for a visual guy of the show. Follow at Tramon Podcast on Instagram and right into the show. Head to Tramon.com slash ask. While you're on Tramon.com, catch up on lore. Check out our recommendations or download some artwork for your personal use. If you want to chat with us on Discord, just ask us how. And you can find all these links on lore on Tramon.com. Yes, you can. So, Rain, while I continue eating, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you hear something out in the distance? What's that? The bells from your wedding. Anything new? Uh, that's a good question. I've talked about the honeymoon. I've talked about the, I've talked about the uh, DJ, the photo booth. I added video, so we're gonna have video, a videographer now. Um, other than that, I'm working on a couple little things for the wedding, like a program slash newspaper kind of thing that I'm gonna get. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm I'm still not sure about the videographer thing for myself. Mm. Are you gonna do the whole thing or just the ceremony? Um, the whole thing. Okay. Uh, There's nothing com- wrong with it. I'm it just- comes with a 15 to 20 minute video that they edit, but I'm requesting the Roth too, mm. because which is a faux pas with photography. Is yeah. it photography? Oh, photography, photography might photography. be different. Yeah, yeah, because it's like you can edit the, you can color correct it, you can do all that. I just want to edit it to my own thing. Yeah, and that's because like. Brandy's friend Cindy, she got an edited one and she didn't even get to choose the song. Oh. You know, it's like really like I, I don't want you guys to be able to choose whatever song you want. And they ended up putting like an Imagine Dragon song over her video. Oh no. Yeah. She likes it. Don't get me wrong. And I'm good, you know, I'm I'm happy for her. But I heard it and I was like, oof, I would not want that. So what I'm, song I'm, was it? I don't even know. I've never heard it. Mm. I've never heard it. And I don't think it's on Instagram or anything. I think Brandy just showed me. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So uh, all, the, all the memes of Imagine Dragons. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. dude. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I'm excited for the for the Bachelor. Yeah, the, the day is coming up. It is. It is. Up. Do do we? You just gotta get the car. I just that's it. That's it. Which I can probably get. I'm probably gonna get that tomorrow. We'll see. Is it gonna be like an Astro van or what? No, uh, like a the blacked out, you know, Escalades. Are we gonna fit in there? Yeah, six of us. Yeah, there's some shotgun. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably there's gonna. I'm, I always ride shotgun with the YouTube. I don't at uh, YouTube Uber. I don't know what's going on. I I think it's one shotgun, three three, so up to seven. Okay. Yeah. Gabriel still does not have his flight though. What is going? Is Gabriel and like not coming? He's coming. He's coming. You and sure? I'll, I'll be I'll be sure of that. I'll I'll make sure of that because well, he bought the ticket. He's the only one who hasn't paid me. This is what, I, dude. Okay. So what I'm is doing? Is Gabriel coming? What I'm doing is it's his birthday tomorrow or today. Mm-hmm. The loan is forgiven. 
the payment of the ticket is forgiven, happy birthday. If he buys the, with proof of purchase of Delta with, flight. With, yeah. With, oh, yeah, he can fly however he wants. I don't I, care. I found another flight today, a United flight, that gets there 10 minutes before we do. Uh-huh. Um, and What's uh, the problem with it? One stop? No, no stop. Non-stop. Huh. Mm-hmm. It's almost the same. The only issue is coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has to be at the airport at 6.30. Yeah. Oh, well, that's up to him. Yeah. So I sent him I sent him two flights earlier in the week, and he sent me the the Braveheart meme, the, the hold. <laughs> what does he think is going to happen? I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's possible that it drops. It's possible, but not likely. So it's on him. Oh, man. It's on him. <sighs> Rain, look at this news. Am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Mm. Little Mermaid, whatever. I don't care. Uh but like, you know what it was? This April Fool's got out of hand. This past I week. didn't see any of it. Oh, good, dude. Like good. Zero. It was ridiculous. It hey, was let ridiculous. me let me let me check our wonderful Discord where uh, who just joined us? So, yes, the Discord newbie. Yeah, I know her name. Michelle. Yes, Michelle. Yes. I kept thinking J. It's Michelle J. Yeah. That's what it was. So see, I know something. I know something, oh, man. Arc is like mostly synced, but not completely. Mm. And now I'm gonna oh oh I have Discord on my phone. So like go. I'm gonna di- I'm gonna open Discord and then it's gonna update like Windows, yada yada yada. Uh, okay, blah 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 more blah more stuff. We just don't we just don't care about most of this stuff. All right, okay, all right. Let's get in some news. That's the old one. There's a new one? No, it's just like the the Oh, it's not the that lower low. one. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I'll get louder too. Yeah. Let's get in some news. Got some headlines for you guys. Uh but first, snack time. One, uh Tramon, a Disneyland podcast. Uh Shocks the world with another April Fool's joke. <laughs> I think it went well. Yeah, it was cool. We and tricked that, a few people. Yeah, 19 minute April Fool's joke. Yeah. Not, I'll, not, I'll take it. Yeah. Could have. I think we didn't have to get ridiculous with it. Yeah. 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 I've, I, I've got, I got comments of like, this is like half real. What's going on? <laughs> and I'm like, you have, you have to sprinkle truth in or mm-hmm. you have to base your lie in a joking way on a truth to get people like, wait, okay. That is true, but this next line is ridiculous. So like, <laughs> that was good. That was ESPN fun. bet is real. That's I, I had no idea, but it would be really dumb to have your dad gamble. Yeah, on the trip. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Could you imagine that? It's like they thought they were getting away from that. You know what? Too dark. Too dark. Too dark. Uh, Little Mermaid. They're redoing the uh, entrance. I guess Lightning Lane is coming. Isn't it already there? They were testing it. You know, they just like kind of plopped it down there. But they're modifying the main entrance to put a... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they're doing that. Uh, Tongaro Terrace now opens at 6 a.m. for breakfast. Oh, good. Good. Chalk Walk is back July 21st. Nice. Uh, and Disney revealed the attraction poster and new characters for Tiana's Bayou Adventure in Walt Disney World. Cool. I didn't want to, like, get into it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm excited for the ride. But we might get a different poster. And, like, the bottom right character is Furry Bait. I didn't see it. Let me see. Check the I Discord. S- it's in, in the screenshot. The bottom right, all the way bottom <laughs> right, is a. He's got that dog in him, you know? <laughs> there are two wolves inside of you. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a furry. Okay. So, first headline Six Feet Wonderground. Wonderground Gallery has been replaced by the Disney Dress Shop. Rain, will we get a new shop in the dress shop area, or is Marceline's going to double in size? We're getting a new shop. You think so? Yeah, I don't think... Tiffy Luna heard some rumors. Really? Yeah. Huh? Okay. That, I mean, it makes what, sense. What kind of shop would you think they would shove in there? I have no idea. It's skinny. Yeah. And I, Marceline's is packed. Is it? Yeah. Oh, dude. see, that's... I, I didn't the number that. and all that. Yeah. I wonder if they'll even close Marceline's. Well, they'd have to to tear down the wall, but like... Uh, Mr. Iger, tear down this wall. Um, <laughs> so, uh, they'll tear down the wall. That maybe they'll redo it. Yeah, maybe. 
maybe a they'll nicer, give it some brick. They'll start selling more regular Disney merch in there that has food based. Ah. Kind of like like Pooh Corner does. Okay. Yeah, they do a little bit of it in Marceline's right now, but it's not very prominent. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if they'll make it look like Starbucks on Main Street, you know, like maybe. the wood and that yeah. kind of stuff. Give it a little more theming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see. Maybe not because Marceline's is supposed to look like, you know, that old timey. Like a candy shop. Yeah. You know, candy yeah. palace, you know. So we'll see. But uh, apparently Wonderground was like under a refurbishment. I didn't even notice. Me either. We haven't been there in a while. Dude, I last time I walked through downtown Disney, I asked Brandy, should we go into Wonderground? She said, why do you always want to go in there? Never buy anything. Yeah. And I I'm, mean, I have, but most of the time you don't. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. We just, I walk in, I make my little rounds and then we walk out every time. And I guarantee you that's why it closed. Yeah. Nobody's buying anything in there. Nope. So. Yeah. If anything, we'll get like some artist series stuff in smaller areas, yeah. but maybe not as much. <sighs> you know, they probably do make some good money. Maybe they'll shove it somewhere else, you know? Maybe. I mean, they could go into their temporary spot in ESPN zone. I'm wondering that. Yeah. Like for now, maybe they'll put one of the shops like in the new area. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, RIP in peace. Um, yeah. It's one of those like, oh, we love it. But yeah, we haven't gotten yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This has become a bigger story. So I'm going to open this article. A bigger story. Yeah. Freddie sent this in at the, at the last the 11th hour. I was going to say last hour. Uh, those are the same thing. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, um, I'm gonna call it objection sustained. So the LA Times reported on this. They asked Disneyland for comment about the gas cars at Autopia. Mm -hmm. like it's time they objected to the emissions and the gross smell. Yeah, and Disneyland or Disney released a statement. As the industry moves toward alternative fuel sources, we have developed a roadmap to electrify this attraction and are evaluating technology that will enable us to convert from gas engines in the next few years. Hmm. And then uh, they released an, uh, an album. Um, really quick, this LA Times article mm -hmm. is all because Bob Gurr was saying stuff, right? I think they just also asked Bob Gurr. Oh, okay. He it was made cool. a comment like the gas uh, is smelly and gross and has got to go. Yeah. That's not what he's... But he, he's like, we should... Disneyland needs to innovate on this. Yeah. Actually, before I get to this Disney Parks blog article, I want to say uh, this is... This really showed me like this... this You know, I hate influencer culture yeah. and influencers and all that. Disneyland converting Autopia to electric cars. That is not true. That is not true. The comment said, we developed a roadmap to electrify this attraction and we are evaluating technology. So it could be fully electric. It could be hybrid. It could be some weird thing. Ethanol. No, they said electrify. Yeah, uh, electrify could be a, a uh, not synonym, what the describer. Well, not the describer, the adjective. Like... Like Greece, like it's electric. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being serious. <laughs> no, no, you don't no, think so? No, I don't think so. I they don't want to be burning stuff, what, pumping stuff. What's the what are the trams running off of right now? Natural gas. Natural gas. There, there's like natural gas shortages and weird stuff. Oh, there like are. It, okay, it's getting more expensive. It's okay. not that expensive yet. Yeah, but once we run out, we're out. Like I wouldn't replace a gas motor with another gas motor. Mm. And I think, I don't know if natural gas has to be pressurized, which you don't want. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a gas and it has to be pressurized to turn into a liquid. Pretty sure. Not entirely sure. So uh, you don't want that in the little cars. But Disney is not... They're looking at what they're going to do someday. Yeah. They're not doing anything right now. And this is not exciting because Autopia is here to stay. Tomorrowland, England. Wait, what's uh, what's Bonesaw? What does he say? You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Uh, Kimmy's going to love that reference. <laughs> the human spider. Um, anyways. Uh, okay. So Disney also just released uh, a... This is like a... 
press release or something on the yeah. Disney Parks blog. Four ways Disneyland continues on the road to sustainability plus more to come by Sasha Azoka, um, internal communications manager, at Disneyland Resort. This seems like damage control. Yeah, she wrote this this morning <laughs> for sure. As the Walt Disney Company, this is a quote. As the Walt Disney Company continues on the road to sustainability toward our environmental goals for 2030, which includes achieving net zero greenhouse gas emissions, Disneyland Resort continues to evaluate and explore opportunities in clean transportation. To celebrate the start of Earth Month, hmm, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's take a look at four ways that guests can get to, from, and around Disneyland Resort via low or zero emissions vehicles. One. At the beginning of your visit to Disneyland Resort, guests can board our parking lot trams that run on compressed yeah, natural yep. gas, eliminating approximately 56,000 gallons of diesel each year. And then there's a link to parking lot trams. <laughs> what? And I want to know what page this opens, right? Yeah, I clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> that was real slow. Whoa! Whatever. Wednesday, April 4th, 2012. Whoa. 12 years ago, if you're just going by weekdays. Happy Earth Month. Did you know the Disneyland Resort guest parking lot trams run on clean burning compressed natural gas, eliminating approximately 56,000 gallons of diesel use per year? Hear more about tram driver Deborah McDowell in this installment of Every Role, a Starring Role. I remember that. There's some good footage in this video, man, of the trams. <laughs> Dude, some good stuff. Walt Disney Imagineering wrote this. Yeah. Oh man, this is like a behind the scenes cast article. That is so buried. Dude, it won't even open. Really? The link. Yeah. Maybe in a new tab. That's hilarious. That they just copy. Dude, she did write this this morning. Right. Right. It's not her fault. Someone told her to write this this yeah. morning. But yeah, this is just a blurb that she copy pasted from. Yeah, it just it just won't open i don't know what's going on it just keeps it's a loop oh view the video on youtube okay mm -hmm. i think <laughs> that's not the video why is that okay whatever i give up uh that's that's so weird okay that's hilarious number two the disneyland monorail also provides our guests another sustainable ride since its installation in 1959 the monorail has been a high-speed zero-emission transportation system that emits no direct exhaust or pollutants into the atmosphere. So what is it? It's el it's electric. Yeah, but like, why does it say it like that? Hmm. Like, click the link. I am. I am. I am. I am. Uh oh, it's just the right the link to the monorail. Why don't the trams have their own page? Yeah, serious talk. So and she also copy and pasted the description. The high-speed zero-emission transfer... Oh, no, she did not. But she said high-speed zero-emission. Okay. Uh, let's let's continue on. Um, the Disneyland Railroad and Mark Twain Riverboat have been powered by biodiesel, made from recycled cooking oil since 2009. Uh, and then number three, Disneyland Resort has also undertaken the ambitious goal of electrifying its large vehicle fleet. That's over 400 vehicles on stage and backstage. Over the past year alone, we've converted nearly 10% of our vehicle fleet to zero emissions. So 40 vehicles have been yeah. not, no, fewer than 40 vehicles because they said over 400 vehicles. Mm -hmm. So that means fewer than 500 because they would have said that because they're saying the large vehicle God, is over 400. Okay. That's written Check so interesting. Yeah. The ambitious goal of electrifying its large vehicle fleet. That's over 400 vehicles. So the large vehicle fleet is 400 vehicles, and the goal is a big deal because they want to do 400. Of yeah. Them. Over the past, oh, over the past year alone, but it must not have been previous years because they would have just reported a higher number. Yeah. So over the past year alone, we've converted nearly 10. percent Nearly 10. percent Yeah. So, so it's a solid eight. You round up. Huh? Solid eight percent. Oh, 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 I was like yeah. eight vehicles. Range. No, 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 Your no. math is way no, off. No, no, no. Eight percent. Yeah. I'm saying a solid 30. Yeah, so th 30 to 40 vehicles uh, are now zero emissions vehicles. And then number four, additionally, some of our Main Street vehicles, Sailing Ship Columbia and Jungle Cruise boats are using compressed natural gas and uh, guest favorite radiator Springs Racers is partially powered by 1,400 solar panels. Hmm. 
Uh, and we can't leave out one of our opening day attractions, Autopia, which is on the road to electrification in the next few years. We look forward to sharing more about that in the future. There it is. That's so the point of the article. Yeah, basically, because Disney released a statement to yeah. the LA Times, they had to say something. Yeah. Uh, the question at the bottom, what's your favorite sustainable travel option at the Disneyland Resort? You must be logged in to post a comment. Okay. Did Reyes just send us a foodie guide at Dodger Stadium? He did. I let you use that one. Uh, so hold on. Oh my god! There's a foodie guide to everything now. Hold on. I'm gonna. We're gonna leave a comment live on the air. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, wow. All we're doing is just keeping you from finishing that this up by eight. Um, <laughs> not on purpose. I, I got just, an hour and fifty, dude. Between the heart out. Okay. Now or less. See cake on the show. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see. Eight. Uh, By the way, I've been feeling really good with the intermediate. Nice. Yeah, it's been good. Nice. Uh, I did log in. Okay. Post your comment. Log <laughs> in is Kurt. Uh, my favorite sustainable travel option is absolutely the tram i love tramming <laughs> all right hit that dude i'm gonna like it does it have to be reviewed you think oh for sure duplicate comment oh <laughs> okay i i like it hit submit twice because it's like the slowest website in the it world it really is i don't know why it's running dude all of this is on go.com. That's why it does have to be reviewed because it's not there. Mm. That's fine. But this was a fun article. Uh, thank you, Freddie, for sending that. So uh, Interesting stuff, man. Yeah. What is it? Objection sustained. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, that's all the news. Ricardo's determined to talk to them about doing it for them. Huh? Ricardo wants to be the one spearheading the, the project. But he... He can do it. He's got to be Anaheim. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him to use my address. Say your shop is at my house. <laughs> Say he's an Anaheim resident. No, they're going to ask for stuff, dude. They're going to ask for his ID for security, yeah. all this weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. Orange County. Orange County. Yeah. Did that you hear? Be, dude, that would be did you hear about sick. the um, the law initiative that was passed for Anaheim residents that work at the parks? No. So I think, I forget whether it's Anaheim residents or Orange County residents that work at Disneyland. A measure was passed in November that said with backdate all the way to like 2021 or something, um, they, every cast member needs to be paid a livable wage. And that livable wage is 20 to $23 an hour, mm. depending on what, what it is. So a lot of, Cast members or people who have worked at the parks are getting checks in the mail. Big oh. checks. Yeah. That's interesting. Good for them. Go get yours, as they say. All right. It's time for your right, in which members of the Tram Fam write in with corrections and comments, just like you can at tram.com slash ask. Rain, cue up that corrections music, please. Okay, so before we do corrections, I received something in the mail. Mm -hmm. hey, I was wondering what that was. So our very own Nadia. Uh, who did the character art on YouTube? What Nadia? Really? Yeah, this is the. I'm showing you the back on purpose. Everyone sent. She didn't send. I purchased to support mm -hmm. uh, her first graphic novel. I guess you would call it. Oh, okay. Book. She's releasing a second one already. Okay, I didn't even know this was a thing. Yeah. So, uh, so she's a an artist. Support your artists. Um, she's in our credits. You can go check her out. But she sent me this uh, all the way from Ontario, Canada. Yeah. And for like weeks, literally weeks, she's like, "Have you gotten it?" And I'm like, no, but don't worry. It's the mail. It's customs. Right? And I said, our very own Nicole. Yeah. Uh, up in British Columbia. Um, it takes forever for her to really get a sticker. Yeah. So, And she's just right up north above yeah. Seattle. Right. Well, I don't know what city she lives in. And I wouldn't tell you guys anyway. <laughs> but that's the somewhere over there. The yeah. Imagine if there was a state above Washington. It's yeah. British Columbia. Yeah. So I was like, don't worry. And like worst case scenario, I will order your second book. And because she was like, I'll send you another one now. And I'm like, 
when I order your second book, just send me the first one also because she got more copies. But mm -hmm. I bought one of the last copies. So I opened it and I was like, no freaking way. This is awesome. What a nice custom tissue. Yeah. And then I'm like, this isn't custom. It's hand drawn. It has my name on it. She drew all these little things. That's the art for Brighter, which is the name of this. So she drew all this. And I'm like, are you serious? She goes, team no chill. She just goes <laughs> all in, dude. So I need, right. I want to very carefully open this because yeah. it's like. That's a work of art. The tissue. It's yeah, tough. dude. Uh, get it. When she makes it big, we're going to sell it. You know, when she does her first Spider-Man comic or something. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. She's too good for Spider-Man. Uh, okay. I got to like. Can you believe that my chemical romance guy made Penny Parker? I don't even know who that is. Right? Penny Park. You saw Into the Spider-Verse, right? Yeah. Yeah. The the anime girl. Oh, in the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, Ger Gerard Way. Gerard Way. Yeah. yeah. Say his name, right? It's okay. I know his name. I used to like MCR. No, me too, dude. I was never... Uh, never watched Umbrella okay, Academy. Some, some of it has to tear. I'm sorry. I don't want to, but... I said I would gingerly open it. This is uh, look, as ginger as it gets. Okay. I have black hair. Go sue me. Oh, okay. The the tape is tearing. That's that's useful. So, uh, oh, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Got it. Got it. No, oh, don't tear. Okay, it's got to tear. Got to tear. She wrapped it too well, dude. Well, dude, it was in the mail. It just had an envelope around it. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. All right. There it is. More. Oh my god. This is so. It's okay. Oh, that's there nice. Is. Brighter. The prologue by Nadia Dar. We're not doing story time with Chairman, but uh, copyright property of Nadia Dar in association with Stream Inc. 2021. So, dude, this is a little graphic novel that she wrote, right? A little corner right there. Oh, there's a little. Oh, she wrote me a note. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not. I won't read it on the show. It's not like personal, but like it's a note. It's a note. Yeah. I'll just show you later. But she wrote a little note. Wow. And gave me a little postcard. So uh nice. That's gonna yeah. find its way back here. Later. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so here's a big thing, right? Here's something I learned on her Instagram. So see all this? Mm-hmm. This is not digital art. What she hand painted all this. Oh wow. And then scanned it. Like oh, they're like, neat. oh, you can't do the whole thing by hand. And she was like, I'm going to do the whole thing by hand. So this is all like hand drawn on paper. She thing all this in. Oh, that's cool. Kind of like uh, what's his face does that, I think. Oh, or did uh, rest in peace. Akira Toriyama. Oh, he had uh, assistance to do all the black. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, this is all hand drawn. Look at that, dude. You could see all the, the grain and all nice. the, little, the pencil or you know what I mean? Rough strokes or in a matter of speaking. So very cool. She has her own aesthetic. Uh, I like you, the black. Yeah. I like how it's just everything is black. That's cool. Have you seen any of this like in motion? Like her little test yeah. animation? Yeah, that's yeah cool. it's the little fire and everything. So yeah, I'm going to check this out. This is the prologue. She's releasing another one. Nice. Uh, check out her website in our description. Uh, she does. She did our animation. Mm -hmm. uh, our two characters. Kimmy's character. And uh, yeah. And she's a real artist. Not an artificial one. Yeah. That's not art. Yeah, go support real art. Uh, even if you don't buy anything, just go check it out. Uh, she streams on Twitch too. Yeah, that is cool. And we're, while she's drawing, and stuff, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's that's, cool. that's crazy. So congratulations um, on the second book coming out, and thank you for sending that to us. All right, we do have an actual correction, or not a correction, a write-in. Mm -hmm. John writes in, "Hey guys, Sheridan's birthday is Thursday, April fourth. If anyone's going to the parks the fourth or fifth, feel free to say hi." Also, if you did an early birthday shout out on Tram, and that would be awesome. If it's recorded early already, no worries. I understand. I should have wrote this in earlier. Happy birthday, happy, Sheridan! Happy birthday to you know. No, all right. <laughs> Just a shout out. Yeah, shout out. So happy birthday, Sheridan! Why did I read the whole thing, John? Because you did this for her, man. That's awesome. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, well, you know, I don't know why I'm saying thank you, but that's great. Yes, happy birthday to Sheridan, uh, who I think we. I think we're seeing them both soon. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Oh, really? They're like best friends with Matthew and Brie now. <laughs> really? It's hilarious. <laughs> like I was telling, I was laughing about it with Matthew. He goes, "Dude, like we talk to them like every day." 
They're going on like Midsummer Screaming together. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, they're, they're horror movie people. Dude, the yeah. sp- spooky people. The as spooky they call people. Them. They they they're not quite spooky people though, because they dress in such bright colors. They're spooky adjacent. They're they're uh, spooky citizens. Yeah, spooky yeah, citizens yeah. and living in the real world. The spooky people. They're like they're goth plus emo. Yeah, like MCR. Like they went to uh, when we were young. Yeah, and then also they horror used, movies, and they used to go to work tour. Yeah. Yeah. Like in 2011, they were at work tour. Yeah. And that's okay. That's still great. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for, for you guys. Um, I just, they still want to know if goths get tired. <laughs> of the tired whole, of it. Dude. They do. I know an ex goth. An ex, uh, w- there's another word for goth. He's like an industrial goth, though. Was an industrial oh, goth. Not, not cyber goth, right? Almost. No. Almost cyber goth. Are they, are they called cyber goths? Yeah. I, yeah. It's not the other cyber, is it? No, I don't think so. Like the, like the people who are under the bridge doing the little That's dance. That's the cyber goth. Yeah, 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 those guys. So he was one of those? Uh, no, I think more traditional goth. But this was like in the early 90s. My cousin. Punk. Or no? No. Punk no. is, okay. No, no, he's wearing platforms. Ooh. He's wearing like chains, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, my cousin Jay, Jason, his cousin from his dad's side. R- Richie. But I've gone to, I went to Comic-Con like five years in a row with him. But Jay's like, yeah, dude, he used to be goth. And I'm like. <laughs> what? Still got the long hair though. Huh. So just 90s goth, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man. That's <laughs> fun stuff. Uh shout out to the goths. R.I.P. Bats Day. If, yeah. Disney. Yeah. If I see him, it, him and his wife have, have passes. Sometimes I run into them. So if I see them, I'll, I'll take a picture with uh in front of Haunted Mansion. Yeah, in front, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they're walk they're rocking the the no sleeves. Like the No, they're not. These days? You said they're, they're next de- goth. They're definitely rocking a Jack Skellington t-shirt. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Eyeliner? No, no eyeliner. Like, full, fully out. Full, kind of. Are they just rocking Billy now? He's got a... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's got the ponytail. Got him. Yeah, he's got the ponytail. He's hanging out in yeah. Uptown Whittier. Yep. Yep. Yeah, dude. Rocky dude, Billy You know City. where he lives? Mm. He got it. He bought a condo. Well, don't tell, tell everyone he, where he lives. Your, your old place. The like, OG? The OG. Lives right there in the same community. Huh. Autumn yeah. just moved there. Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what you were saying. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. We're, uh, we're probably neighbors. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Um, what was, I was going to say one final thing. Right. The Rockabilly. I still... I can describe the aspects of it, mm-hmm. but it's just easier to just look at one and be like, that's <laughs> one of them. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a fine line between Cholo and Rockabilly, too. It, that, that, that line is being bridged now for me. Crossed. Yes. Crossed. Yes, it's now being crossed. The gap is being bridged. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of a lot of Randy's uh, extended family. Uh-huh. They're definitely are 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 not elderly, but you know what I mean. Our older rockabilly people just retired cholos, the veteranos. Yes, possibly, possibly. Yeah, Ch- right, it's, right it's, in. Chach is Chach and his wife Viv. Uh huh. They're at Trader Sam's all the time. What's up with the rockabilly and the tiki too? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Wonder why. Yeah, because, dude, that tiki event Freddie and I went to. Mm-hmm. All the old school rockabillies. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. With yep. just the tiki shirt on. Like, yeah, the, the... <laughs> but they still got the fedora with the grease yeah, back yeah, hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, what a time to be alive, everyone. <laughs> All right. Thank you, John, uh, for writing in and then uh, sparking. What a, such a wonderful <laughs> conversation. Um, now, when the rockabilly people retire, do they become... Rocka William. <laughs> you come up with that right now? Of course I did. That was good. That no, was it good. wasn't. <laughs> <sighs> this here's our Big Thunder topic of the week. <laughs> we didn't do the intro right. <laughs> Because you changed the name. And I forgot to put it here. Yeah. Yeah. What what is the name? What is the new name? Somehow, Season of the Force Returned. I feel like we need to re record the intro. Yeah, we later we, we, we if can. we remember. Yeah. Uh, I'll put a note at the bottom. Uh re record intro. Uh yeah. So actually I was gonna say this doesn't fit in for the topic people, but no, it does. They get the same intro. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, somehow season of the force returned. We don't really know what it is. Yeah, we don't. 
we don't and it's overlapping other festivals yeah at, in the multiple same festivals. parks yeah it's overlapping food and wine yeah and uh pixar fest but it's at disneyland but pixar fest is also at disneyland with a pixar fest fireworks yeah which we're gonna find out something very interesting about soon uh it's was this wanted do you think anybody woke up and they're like yes season of the force is back i don't think anyone even realized it was real yeah or i remember because dude it started with uh force awakens yeah i remember that it started closer to like september october november Mm -hmm. and became like a kind of christmas star wars thing Mm -hmm. to promote the new movies and then it happened again when they did the next movie. Was this the introduction of hyperspace? Yes. In Disneyland, anyways. Or maybe anywhere. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, all of them. okay. Yeah. So, um, other than hyperspace, the only thing I remember about Season of the Force were the banners going into Tomorrowland. That's it. Yeah, they might have done... They played music in Tomorrowland, too. Star Wars music? Yeah. Okay. Like John Williams' score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's cool. So... Let's talk about Tomorrowland first. So, like you said, Rain, Hyperspace Mountain coming back for a limited time from April 5th through June 2nd, 2024. The high speed Space Mountain overlay, Hyperspace Mountain, will return to Tomorrowland during Season of the Force at Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California. How, I do, know you, how do you feel? I like Hyperspace. I have said in the past that I like it more than original, but I don't know if that's true anymore. I think I might like the original more, but I still like it. Mm. I, it's still above Ghost Galaxy for me any day. <sighs> any day. Um, I think it's almost cheating, though, in my head. Because nostalgia for Star Wars is just so strong in my head, even now. The nostalgia is strong with this one. Yeah. 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 And when you just hear Red Leader standing by and all that stuff, and you're going up, and it's like, ah. This is where the fun begins. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, even though you're not in a cockpit. In my head, I'm like, all right, I'm in the cockpit. I'm ready to go fight these TIE fighters. And, uh, yeah, I, I just I like that a lot. Yeah, I, I don't at all. It does not feel immersive at all. It's brighter. Uh, now they're the permanent projection screens just put up all year. Uh, I, I'm tired of hearing the Star Wars theme everywhere. That, that is true. It's that is just true. constant. I'm like, okay, yeah. I get it. I get it. And it just, it ruins my birthday. Yeah. Every year. Every year, dude. Every year. Dude. Like, I don't even care about writing it. Yeah. I it bothers me that much. It's it's like I actually I don't know when John's birthday is. But let's pretend it's in October. Does does he like Nightmare Before Christmas or does he want Haunted Mansion, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. The spooky people. Same the, thing. the true spookies. They do like Haunted Mansion more than nightmare for sure the nightmare people are nightmare people those are the raiders fans yeah so but the spookies love love haunted mansion yeah dude they got the wallpaper in their house they got the the candelabras and all that kind of stuff the gargoyles so yeah hyperspace it's back i'm sure many of you are are excited uh write in if you are and then i'll ban you from writing in for like three months no i'm kidding uh write in if you like it write in if you don't like it i'll read yours first yeah. Or meal. Maybe save best for last. I'll just stop it <laughs> off with that. Yeah. Let's see. Write in and it'll be a competition. Okay. And then uh, I'll figure out the reward later. I'll think of something funny instead of thinking of something on the spot like yeah. Rocco Willie. That doesn't. <laughs> nope. That was good. No, that was, good. That was Rocco William. Oh, Rocco William. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Further into Tomorrowland. <coughs> New adventures aboard Star Tour starting April 5th. 2024 at Walt Disney World Resort, Disneyland Resort, and Disneyland Paris, the attraction Star Tours, the adventure continue. We'll introduce a new destination. A new destination. Uh, Just one. And characters from recent Disney Plus series, Ahsoka, Andor, and The Mandalorian. During their flight, guests may encounter urgent transmissions from Ahsoka Tano, Cassian Andor, or Din Djarin and Grogu. Guests may also visit the planet Seatos from the Ahsoka series. So we're getting the one place. Yeah, and, but I believe they showed off... Multiple. They showed off a hyperspace effect. What, what do you mean? With the, the, the space whales. 
Oh, okay. It was very important to Rebels and Ahsoka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay. that might be in there. But yeah, it sounds like only one new destination, Seattos. Or I don't even actually know how to say it. I haven't watched Ahsoka. Me either. I have no idea what these whales you're talking about. How many girls will scream when Cassian Endor comes on screen? <laughs> Kimmy people, will scream. People like that guy? I love him. I, I like him too, but he's like, like a Pedro Pascal kind of thing. He's the OG though. He is. He is. He's Diego Luna, man. From, is it Diego Luna? It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From like... From like the late 90s. Yeah, like Mexico, yeah. you know? Like straight up. And then yeah, what's that movie? Uh, Abajo de la Misma Luna or something like that. There's, him him and the other guy. That, that's the werewolf. The, uh, the werewolf. No, Gabriel, that's the Gabriel something, Garcia. That's something madre, no? Oh, I thought it's... Hold on. Abajo de la Misma Luna. Or... Yeah. Oh, actually, I think you're right. Yeah, you're right. I'm thinking of a different movie. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna open up his equally as impactful. I would say is uh, Kimmy screaming. <laughs> she's screaming. <laughs> she's screaming. She's she's like that that meme of the girl screaming and it's just like it's so high pitch it goes silent. <laughs> <laughs> Casa de mi padre. Yeah, there you go. There you yeah, go. that's okay. with what's his face, right? Yeah, and the girl from uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah, and Will Ferrell. What? Yeah. Oh no, I'm no no. That's a different movie. Dude. Oh okay, that's okay. a different movie. But, Gael Garcia is in here too. Is he really? Yeah. So what? What were you saying? Say it again. Say it again for the people, Rain. Abajo de la misma luna. That's probably also true, but. Y tu mama también. That one. I said mama. I thought you said papa. No, this one was, this one was padre. Padre. But okay. I said mama. Yeah. Y tu mama también. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Uh, your other one's not here though. I don't think he's in that movie at all. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've heard many great things about, uh, what was it, Casa de Mi Padre? Because mm -hmm. Will Ferrell just speaks Spanish really? in the whole thing, and it's hilarious. <clears throat> but yeah, um, man, he's in, dude, I, why does it, freaking IMDb, you know why I couldn't find it? Huh. It says, and your mother too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, but yeah. Uh, IFC Films. Cool. Oh, it's Alfonso Cuaron. Oh, really? Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Cool stuff. Uh, Diego Luna. All right. Mando. I don't know. I mean, will the helmet be on? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 No yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Will it be him in the suit? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Okay. So how do we how do we feel about this? We, I mean, I'm excited for more things on Star Tours. I have no attachment to the Ahsoka thing. Yeah, me either. Me either. They're really trying to make Ahsoka a thing. She is a thing. She. I know. I know she is a thing. But they're really trying. Yeah. Like they're putting putting the the ears out there. You know, they're putting all the merch out there. She's not going to be another group. Your phone's on, and you're going to just hit something that oh, you yeah, shouldn't yeah. be hitting. You know. Uh yeah, I, she well she's buddies with Grogu, isn't she? She is. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm excited for more stuff in Star Tours. That's about it. I wish. What's missing from Star Tours where you would want to go? Ah, <sighs> that's a good question. That's a good question. Hmm. They've hit mostly everything, like from the from the movie proper movies proper. Anyways, do we do Mustafar? For sure, we did go to Mustafar. No, right? It's lava. Yeah. I don't think we do Mustafar. I'd be sick. I find that hard. To How did I get my stand goal? I've been sitting for 48 minutes. Yeah, sometimes, dude. Sometimes it thinks. Yeah, and then sometimes you're standing and it's like, you got, you yeah. it's time to stand. And I'm like, yeah. dude. Okay. Locations in Star Wars that we haven't been to. Yeah. We've done... Tatooine multiple times. Or just once. It's just the pod racing. No, the multiple times then. We went there for the episode seven. Uh, chasing of the Millennium Falcon. That no, that's uh, Jakku. Ah, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone to Exegol. We've gone to Kashyyyk, yeah. Endor, Hoth, <clears throat> Hoth, Naboo. We went to Endor. No, it's the one place Star Tours has never gone. Even the original light speed to Endor, and you don't make it, right? I could have sworn we went in the original. Hey, you go in the, the, the glacier. The, oh, the yeah. Thing. yeah. Yeah. Endor. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Well, 
you can't fit through those trees. We turn into you can't yeah. Just pretend you can just pre- we we, pre- we pretend that we're we're just make the trees uh, bigger. We'll be fine. Yeah, 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 we're good. Yeah, we haven't gone to Endor. Wild. Yeah, that is wild. Because when you go to Kashyyyk, people think that that's Endor. Yeah. Because it goes the Wookiee planet, and people probably think Ewoks and Wookiees are the same thing. Well, we, Ewoks are the kid Wookiees. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Thousands of people think that for oh, sure. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Just for like, sure. like like Miguel's name is Coco. Yeah, yeah those yeah. are baby Chewbacca's for sure. And it's it's hilarious because at Hollywood Studios, it's Endor on the outside of Star Tours. Yeah. <laughs> so interesting. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, cool, cool, cool. I think one of the most exciting things, finally, on select nights starting April 5th, 2024, guests in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will be able to enjoy Fire of the Rising Moons, a nighttime experience that debuts a different view of the stunning Disneyland Park fireworks display with musical accompaniment, including selections from composer John Williams' Star Wars film scores. Fire of the Rising Moons can be enjoyed from multiple areas in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, including the Black Spire Spaceport, the Thai Echelon docking platform, and the Speeder Garage. Thai Echelon docking platform? Uh, is, uh, what's his face? Kylo's. Kylo's. Okay. Black Spire Spaceport must be where the Falcon is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then the Speeder Garage is actually Solju's fueling station. Excuse you. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a month. But uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, they'll be playing the music there too because there's like that big open area where the droids yeah. like, test and all that. So, yeah, we're finally getting this. What's wild, but not really because it's not synced up. It's just the John Williams score. Mm-hmm. This is playing for another fireworks show. So, like, if they're doing Wondrous Journeys, which I think is done, but... They're doing Mickey's Mix Magic. Yeah. Then they're, they, they're, the musical cues have to match, or the fireworks cues match both music. That is music. crazy. And then is crazy. when they do the Pixar Fest fireworks i wonder if it'll be a little bit different so that's just something interesting do you think this is going to push a lot of people to galaxy's edge i think finally yes yeah i think so too unfortunately i don't want people to go back you're not you're not back there i'm back there i'm back there i walk through a lot (laughs) honestly a good 80 percent of the time i go to disneyland i go through galaxy's Edge. dude i just had a revelation what's up i'm gonna be there on my birthday right Mm -hmm. and i was like why I'm looking for reservations. And I'm like, why would I get Ogas? We're about to read why. Mm. Do they have food there, though? We're deciding right now. This is a... Uh, on the air. On the air. But we won't tell you until we start reading it. Spoilers for later. Uh, My bad, can't handle. Yeah. Uh, no, just drinks. So maybe I'll just get it for like during the day. Yeah. Res at Ogas, for sure. Okay. So, are you going to watch fireworks here? Yeah, actually I'm, I'm I'm excited for that. You know what this is? This is a commitment. It is. Because you're just you're not leaving now. Yeah. You're in the back of the park. Mhm. Just enjoy it. Watch it at the Millennium Falcon and then get on the ride. That is just cool. Stand right there. Yeah. Boom boom boom. Yeah. Cool. Or dude. Imagine like a That's too late. I was going to say like 10 o'clock res at Ogus. Catch a fireworks oh, I've done a drink. It. I've done it. Yeah, I'm yeah, down. It's late. Yeah. I'm too old for that. But yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Uh, I thought that they were going to do this five years ago. Yeah, me too. Me too. So it took them long enough. They wanted to make an announcement out of it. I I think they really wanted to not like acknowledge it in Galaxy's Edge. Or, yeah. And yeah. now they're like, okay, fine. We'll do it. <sighs> couple small things before we get to the, the biggest news item. Photo Pass. New in 2024, aspiring bounty hunters in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will be able to join the search for Din Djarin, Grogu, and more with a hollow puck magic shot. Boo. From Disney Photo Pass service during Season of the Force, April 5th through June 2nd. With the purchase of Disney Genie Plus service at the Disneyland Resort, <coughs> fans can also commemorate their visits to a galaxy far, far away with Disney-themed Photo Pass lenses. What is a hollow puck? The little thing uh, with a hologram on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be a JPEG of a hologram of Grogu on a puck on yeah. your hand. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Guys, I can make a better one. Yeah. Why? 
Why are lenses still a thing? No, the lenses are the AR thing on your phone. <laughs> which I don't know if I've ever seen anyone yeah. use that. I used it when I was in when I was waiting for people to get ready in Walt Disney World once. Mm. In the Walt Disney World app. Oh, the Genie Plus. Yeah. So oh, so that's that's the, your taste of photo pass because mm-hmm. they won't Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to pay for the photo pass over there. How much was it? Hundred something a day? No, it was like one hundred and eighty four. Whatever your trip is. Yeah, whatever your trip is. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, not too exciting. Yeah. Okay. Mary. Next up, I'm calling this merchandising. <laughs> During season of the Force, guests can sport new merchandise coming to Star Wars: The Galaxy's Edge and Star Trader and Tomorrowland at Disneyland Park, plus Star Wars Trading Post in Downtown Disney District. Among the new releases will be the Star Tours, the Adventures Continue Merchandise Collection, coming to Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. So only sounds like only we're getting it. You saw those jackets, right? Yeah, they look good. Look They're good. cool. Freddie will buy one. Yeah, for sure. Maybe he'll buy both. There's two, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I will think about it and then not buy it because I'm like... Not. It's going to be at least 90 bucks. And I'm just not going to wear that. Yeah. It's too much. Freddie's down, though. Yeah, I'm just He's like, the man with the lounge fly. That I respect. It barely looks like one. It, it, it Wait, is barely. it square? No, it's regular lounge yeah. fly. It, it's so leather looking mm-hmm. that it doesn't look like a lounge fly. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can find lots of merch, everyone. Uh, it all looks fine. Yeah. I'm just so sick of merch. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we start off the next section with merch, too. Do we? Mm-hmm. Okay. So. This, I, I had a headline for this last week. It's treats and then, yeah. So, uh, eats and treats, season of the force, foodie guide for Disneyland Resort 2024. Let's get into. I'm glad we waited. Yeah. Because there wasn't, there's not a whole lot to season of the force here. Yeah. And I think this kind of rounds out what it really is. Yeah. It's another food festival. Yeah. But not really. First up, Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. Fried chicken bows, two crispy chicken bows, spicy katsu sauce, and creamy slaw in steamed bow buns, like a like a taco. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Those look great. Yeah. Uh, chicken katsu, dude. I'm in. Whoa. What? I just saw the next thing. You didn't notice this? This was I all the rage in the Discord. I didn't. I didn't. I know. Well, I'm gonna call these. These are not the dewback chili noodles you're looking for, but dewback chili noodles. Spiced fettuccine noodles and gingered ground pork with broccolini stems and shredded red cabbage. What's the difference here? Fettuccine noodles instead of pappardelle. Oh, okay. And someone, I think Christian with a K. See, I almost called him Christian just straight up. Didn't sound like Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Uh, he pointed out that the pappardelle noodles are available in like Pizza Planet and stuff. So why not bring them here? But anyways, fettuccine noodles, a little thicky boys. Yeah. That's okay. Maybe it didn't have the broccolini or the cabbage before, right? It did. It did. It did? Uh, the broccolini stems. It was more like, you know, it was more like wilted kale type stuff. Yes. 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 Or yes. like a, like a wilted coleslaw bag. Yeah. But this is a little more like, dude, oh, those are like crunchy broccolini yeah, stems, which is your fave, right? I love that stuff. You're the, you're the, you are the broccolini boy. So that's cool. They're back in a way. But interesting that it doesn't say new because it's not the same thing. It's not new, new, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're back. That'll be great. Uh, maybe that'll be my lunch for my birthday. Uh, I'm already planning out this day. <laughs> like two, three sleeps after Walt Disney World, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be at Disneyland. Yeah. So, dude, I'm going to, I got to try those bows immediately. Mm-hmm. They look great. Oh, no. There you go, dude. There's a there's a whole meal. You get one bow. Kimmy gets one bow. You get the dewbacks. Ooh, dude, that's smart. We each get the dewback and split the. That's a big meal. Yeah, uh, that's a meal though. Yeah, that's a birthday meal. Yeah, it is, dude. Okay, let's move on. To we'll be back in uh, Galaxy's Edge in a moment. Let's move on to Galactic Grill, dude. I thought of shout out to Adrian because I forgot about this meme. Mm-hmm. Like a bantha. <laughs> you remember that? No. What? Like a bantha. It's from Book of Boba Fett, which I know you didn't watch. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Remember when he's trying to teach the uh, Tusken Raiders? Uh-huh. I wanted to call them by the proper name. 
to ride speeders mm -hmm. and they don't know what to do. And he go, he does like this galloping thing. He goes like a bantha. <laughs> I don't remember that was a meme, dude. Yeah. So people made like remixes out of it. <laughs> The Bantha Burger, Angus Beef and Vegetable Patty, Marinated Pork Belly, Whoa. American Cheese, Asian-inspired slaw. That better be from uh, across the way. Mm. Oh, from uh, San Francisco? Yeah. And Sambal Sweet Mayo on a toasted brioche bun. Dude, is there bacon down there? No, that's the pork belly. Oh, duh. The yeah. Same thing, dude. Yeah. Uh, but Thick that bacon. looks good. Yeah, what is this sambal? Sweet sambal mayo? Let's see. Dude, check out this auto scroll that's happening on my, my iPad. Nothing's happening. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> as soon as I picked it up. Sambal mayo is a spicy tangy sauce made with mayonnaise and sambal, an Indonesian chili paste. So this is like a chipotle. Like a chipotle mayo? Yeah, I think you're good. Yeah. Well, uh, Dude, chili paste. So the consistency changes too. Yeah. yeah. You're good. Dude, there's so much stuff in there. You're going to be fine. Yeah. Eat the burger or be disappointed by it. We'll see. I will probably get that while Kimmy gets the chorizo loaded fries, waffle fries, pork chorizo, chile de arbol, cheese sauce, and black beans topped with avocado tomatillo sauce, green onions, and a Oaxaca cheese. So you say it, Fresh Baked Disney. <laughs> Those, dude, waffle fries? Wait, how, do, how, do, how do you say it? Oaxaca. Oaxaca? <laughs> that does sound more Star Wars. Uh, listen. If this makes it David, David, you're cool. But I thought that was hilarious when that happened. Oh, Waxica. Oh, Waxica. <laughs> He's not the only one. Other people said it too. Yeah. Uh, you know why I know how to say Oaxaca? Mm -hmm. Nacho Libre. <laughs> Before it even came out, Jack Black did the confessionals. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. They released them on iTunes for free where uh -huh. he would just sit and talk about filming. And be like, we're in Oaxaca. <laughs> I, just saw filming Nacho Libre. I just saw a TikTok of him speaking Spanish. And he still got it, dude. <laughs> he still got it. Dude, at Kimmy's parents' house on Easter, we watched oh, Not Nacho Libre. It was just on. Like, we started watching it, and then yeah. we went back and forth. That is an Easter movie. Dude. Yeah. That's how long he's had diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> but, dude, I love when Esqueleto jumped down, and he just sounds like a like a <laughs> rap. <Yeah. laughs> that is so unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> like a feral cat. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, so you know he was like in a bunch of novelas. I could see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he's like, he's a Mexican actor. Uh, I think Jack Black is like the only white guy on that whole crew. You know? Yeah, dude, I love the their first match. He's good. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talking to you. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, these also look good. Waffle fries, delicious. Uh, yeah, this is like. Is this going to be better than the carne asada fries at uh, Award Wieners? I think so. At Award Wieners? Yes. Yeah. That carne asada is not carne asada. Yeah. It's, ground, it's ground beef. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. The Wookiee Parfait. Chocolate sponge cake, chocolate pudding, and caramel mousse on a chocolate coffee crust with chocolate pearls. There we go. Dude. Our Darth by chocolate. Darth by chocolate. It's coming for you. Yeah. Uh. I like those little chocolate pearls, dude. If they frost it like that, that's just a frost tipper or t yeah. tip, whatever. They they have to do it. That's the only know. Wookie part. Yeah. Well, no, he's got the little band. Mm. It looks good. Two of those, please. Does that look less sickening than Darth by Chocolate? It does. It does. W horrible name. Wookie Parfait. Uh, yeah. Darth by Chocolate. Great name. Is is Chu Chaka? Too close to like Chukaka. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. What else would we, what else would we call it? I, I, I don't know. Just not a good name. <sighs> Kashik Coco. No one knows what Kashik is. That's, that's a thing. problem. You that's need to say Wookiee or Chewbacca. Yeah. Ch Chewbacca's chocolate. The Wookiee cookie was perfect. Yeah. But that's like, but yeah, all right, we're just going to move on because we're not going to figure this out today. Watermelon slush with Death Star Glow Cube. Okay. I want to make, I want it to be known that you, the, these slushes that they have here, the, the Glow Cube on the app is not an option. You have to get the Glow Cube. Yeah, I know. I know. I did not know that. Why? 
And last time Charge I went, you two dollars more. Last time I went, I didn't even get the clue, the the cube. Huh? Yeah. Well, I have the blood orange one that I didn't post to our Instagram. Mm. Um, but that was that one was good. Their slushies are not bad. No, they're good. It's just if I pay for the cube, I want the cube. Yeah, this one is new. Okay, dude, the chorizo loaded fries don't say new. Neither does the Wookie parfait. Oh, the Wookie, that's interesting. We just missed it, yeah. or they were at a Star Wars night that we didn't. Oh, about. good point. Could good be point. that. Could be that. They also have the not new Granny Smith apple slush with Millennium Falcon glow cube. I like how. Oh, okay, the the Death Star one, dude. Those are they're making custom glow cubes. Not bad, dude. I gave River shout out to River a glow cube, mm-hmm. just the the standard one that came with a drink that I didn't even realize it came with. I just had it, and dude, he he was like over the moon. <laughs> he did, he was like just clicking it, didn't really understand. Yeah. And then, or like he not then he didn't understand he was just like all right it's like cool it like it changes colors, and then we threw it in a glass and he was like oh my god <laughs> like his world was rocked. <laughs> you got to get him a Rubik's cube now, but that doesn't light up. It, no, no it for dude this many's they don't care about yeah they don't care about Rubik's cubes yet light up Rubik's cube maybe he's got light up rain boots. Oh that's cool yeah that's cool. Would you wear light up shoes? Yep, no question. Moving on to Kat Saka's kettle. Celto slush. Plant-based pandan flavored horchata with cold brew. Uh, I, I want to do this. Kat Saka uh-huh. is Filipino. <laughs> they always got the ube. <laughs> Dude, oh, hold on. Pandan is a... Uh, what is that? It is Filipino, right? Ube? No, pandan. It's a plant. I think so. Oh, Hindi. Oh, uh, okay. Although Bro, I'm, I don't know what's going on with this stupid web page, dude. You see? Okay, it? wait, wait. Filipino coconut milk based dishes have uh, panda desserts like buko pandan. Mm. All right, listen. I knew it. Buko pandan is a Filipino cold dessert made of jelly cubes, young coconut, and sweetened cream infused with pandan or screw pine. Screw flavor. pine. Yeah. Oh, there's the auto scroll. I don't. I can't it's just stop. scrolling from five minutes ago. I can't stop it. So basically, yeah, <laughs> this is the Filipino popcorn stand. And uh, <laughs> I'm here for it, dude. Yeah. Because plant-based pandan flavored orchata with cold brew. Oh, yeah. This is like the this is the orchata cold brew without ube. It's with pandan yeah. instead. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be good. I'm all in. What a good br- Another happy birthday. Okay. And the milk stand has the Toydaria swirl. It returns. Green milk with chili seasoning and mango jellies. It was cubed mango before, right? I'm going to say, listen, hear me out. Ask for no jellies. It's yeah. it's vomit textured. Yeah. Just saying it now. I liked it. Yeah? I liked it. But would it be better without the mango yes. jellies? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cause the green milk with the tahini <clears throat> hits. And for there's sure. like chamoy in there too, right? Yeah. A little drizzle. Yeah. Um, I was going to get more into the lore, but that's not for today. So yeah. Some good, like, quick offerings. Let's get into the important thing here. Oga's Cantina. First up, it's already there. So some of these are available already, I guess, or just this one. Oga's Obsession. Minute Maid Lemonade with wild strawberry flavor, yogurt-filled boba, and strawberry and grape candy pebbles with bursting dried fruit mixture. Looks like it's just different flavored, because Oga's Obsession is blue. Okay. And I'll have more to say about this in a month as well. But... Rain, do you know why this is important? What? What do you know about these drinks here that we're about to get into? Nothing. They are from the Galactic Star Cruiser. Oh, they got to put they got to put them somewhere. Yeah. So, first up, the fiery Mustafarian, El Mayor Añejo Tequila, Aperol Aperitivo Liqueur. Too many accents, man. Okay. <laughs> Peach puree, peach syrup, and lime served with a dropper of spicy lava syrup. What is that? Spicy lava syrup? Yeah. Dropper. Hot, hot sauce. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tabasco. Pro- it's always Tabasco, right? Yeah. I would imagine. Because Tabasco doesn't have too much of the vinegar flavor, right? It's more smoky. Really? I, do, I never eat Tabasco. Me neither. Yeah. Because I think it's just like a smoky, it's like roasted chilies or something. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, here's the spicy drink. Brandy? She is down. Yeah. Yeah. 
the Silver Sea Martini. Hendrix Gin, Minute Maid Lemonade, Ginger Syrup, Honey, and Mint Syrup topped with a shimmery butterfly pea flower tea. And But then this came up. She loves gin. This, G- gin is her new tequila. Yeah, this is a very uh, mule type deal. Like yeah, it is. Mule with gin. Yeah. Which is probably what a martini. No, I'm kidding. Uh, the ginger syrup. Interesting. Honey and mint. Butterfly pea flower? A shimmery butterfly pea flower tea. Hmm. Cool. Next up, the Chandrillon sh- Chalice. Okay. Uh, Hen- Hendrix Gin. It's the same exact thing. In a souvenir wine glass. Hmm. Right? That's what it looks like. Yeah. I believe you. What the heck? Interesting. I mean, did they mess up? They might have. Because... But I loaded this today. Yeah. Huh. Why Why would you... They're like called two different things. Wait. No. That's it. It's just two drinks, and you can get them in these special glasses that you could take home. Look. The Chandrillon Orb Glass is the oh, fiery Mustafarian. Okay. 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 So I get it now. Dude, that orb glass is way cooler yeah, than is. the chalice. But I don't want the spicy drink. Mm. I wonder if they'll do another drink of it. No. You don't think so? Yeah. I could try them both though. We'll see. All right. So cool. That's all at Oga's. I thought there was way more then. Two drinks? Yeah, and now this I don't know if this is enough to get me to really go. Yeah. I'll see what food is there. Yeah, I wish they I had like pretzel. a new pretzel or something. They don't need a new pretzel. That pretzel is amazing. <laughs> don't mess with the pretzel. Yeah. All right. Ronto Roasters has the Pasana Punch, orange juice, white grape juice, red passion fruit, and hibiscus. Sounds sweet. Does it? Sounds less sweet. Hibiscus isn't sweet. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Grape passion. juice could be mildly sweet. It's white grape juice, red passion fruit, the orange juice. This is probably good, though. This is like their own little agua fresca or something. It's their their mocktail. Yeah. Um, they should do a new Ronto wrap. Yeah. What would you put on your Ronto wrap? Pork belly. They have the it's the pork and the sausage. Yeah, it was not pork belly. Yeah, it's close. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what what condiments on the pork belly? That's as far as I go. <laughs> <laughs> what if they did? Or like in their you know like a like a like a shawarma. Oh, but we got the shawarma in Ventures Campus. But like a meat, like a like a beef. They don't got beef shawarma. Yeah, but if you want to keep it in the Ronto theme, it would be like an al pastor. Yeah. Okay, dude. What about like if it was al pastor, mm-hmm. right? Pina. But then like potato chips mm. in the wrap. Yeah. Little crunch. Yeah. I don't know where I got that from. Interesting. But that's what I decided. Or I was going to say tortilla strips, but no. No, it, no, no, potato chip, the kettle potato chips. Yeah, and then the, the, that coleslaw, that the the slaw, the slaw, the Asian slaw, mm. or just pico. Yeah, yeah, that works too. Definitely works. A pico or oh no, like a tomatillo. Yeah, a chunky like mm-hmm. avocado tomatillo. Mm-hmm. All right, that's what I'm going with. What would we call that? Oh, it has to be some kind of like a... Okay, we have the Ronto list garden. What, what are Ronto? Ronto what? is like an animal. That yeah, but is, it's, is it... I know the band does. What are the Rontos? It's probably some sort of pig. I don't know. Hmm. It has to be another animal, right? From. No, no. Star it's Wars? still Ronto something. Ah, okay. The other... The garden wrap is Ronto list. Hmm. You know? What would it... Pastor a la Ronto. <laughs> I don't know. El Ronto. El Ronto? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So that's everything in Disneyland. It's not a lot, but no, I assume this because Pixar Fest yeah. is going to have a lot of stuff too. So, dude, you know what though? I'm going to say, is every item on here good? That I would probably agree with, yeah. I don't know if we've had, again, this could all just be garbage when we eat them, but I think this is very, the most solid I've ever seen in a park. We're going to go more, but those chicken bows look great. Ch- Dewback is there, great. There are four solid food options. Yeah. The burger sounds like actually good. Like even if the burger patty is weak, mm-hmm. we're good. I'm still like, what's this beef and vegetable patty thing? 
Wait, they said that? It's Yeah, Angus beef and vegetable patty. Is it just mixed? I yeah, there's like veggies in it. Yeah, that's weird. That's fine. Because we got the pork belly. Brioche bun. Big deal. The chorizo loaded fries, again, look great. The, all the different slushes, even the, the pandan one. Some new drinks, new glasses, new obsession. And a little drinky there. I'd say solid. Yeah. So let's move over to Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. They have a macaron box, which has this really bright Star Wars macaron. Is that what that is? That's what that is? Yeah. What else is it going to be? Or is that the sugar cookie? That's a sugar. Uh, yeah, that's a sugar cookie. Okay. All right. So they, uh, they got a macaron box that we don't have a picture of. And then a sugar cookie, the Wookiee cookie, which was a big deal for a while, right? Mm -hmm. We never got the sand cookie back. Yeah. I, I wanted to try that so bad. The pistachios or something mm -hmm. in there, right? The pretzel lightsabers. Kids are going to love them. The tropical whoopie pie, which looks like Grogu. And the milk chocolate lollipop. Mm. Do you remember when the, the colored Christmas white chocolate ones were a big deal? No. They're nasty. Really? Are they like the C's ones? No, it was just like literally just white chocolate. That's like Santa's face, but it's like red. And it's just like... And a, you can just like... Ow. Yeah, just white chocolate. Ugh. What a weird time. But at Graf's, Graftsman, Craftsman Bar and Grill... And Hearthstone Lounge, they have the Bitter Martini, Hendrix, Gin, Campari, Liqueur, Lemon Juice, Simple Syrup, and Green Grapes. Just a straight-up Bitter Martini, huh? Yeah. Cool. Cool. They have the Galactic Creation, which depicts the Millennium Falcon arriving in Black Spire Outpost, created by Disney's in-house culinary, culinary team, 300 pounds powdered sugar, 80 pounds crisped rice cereal, 60 pounds of marshmallows, and 100 pounds of dark chocolate, and more. Looks cool. Yeah, looks really cool. I like these little creations that they're doing all the time. Now. Yeah. But there are also two very important. Well, there are a few more, but two are very important. Novelties available across the resort. The Job of the Hut bucket. Available at Galactic Grill and the Popcorn Near Star Trader. Like you said, the, uh, the, the Popcorn Hub. Yeah. I don't care about this. Uh, does, it come this with, does it come with a little guy? Salacious Crumb? Yeah. Wait, that's his name? I yeah. never knew that. Yeah, dude, he's like on a little keychain. Yeah, so it comes with it. Yeah. yeah that's cool. All right. <laughs> what a name, Salacious Crumb. Yeah. That fits him so well. And what everyone is so excited about. <laughs> oh, God. The Salvaged Stormtrooper Helmet Bucket. Available starting May 4th. No discounts apply. <laughs> Same with the other bucket. A Galactic Girl Cat Sokka's Kettle. And beverage carts in Galaxy's Edge and the popcorn near Star Trader. So this, the dude, this is like in lore. Yeah. Like, hey, we murdered a stormtrooper. Do you want to eat? <laughs> Was his head in there when he died? Might have been Finn's helmet. Ah, Who knows? Gross. Gross. Does it have a flap? Is that what that is? Yeah. This the is bottom. the most popcorn bucket, popcorn bucket <laughs> in years. Yeah, it is. It's an actual popcorn bucket. Yeah. If I ate popcorn, I'd buy that. Yeah. They also have the Darth Vader stainless steel tumbler. Oh, God. Includes a fountain beverage at time of purchase. But that's all. Yeah. Uh, it's not refillable. Galactic Girl Tomorrowland fruit cart mm. under the platform. And Craftsman Girl. Grogu sipper. I hate these sippers, dude. Yeah. Galactic Who wants Girl, to put soda in one of these things? That's gross. I just think of, think of how you'd wash it. Lemonade near Tomorrowland Expo Center. Oh, that's that stand. Remember yeah, I was like, is it, it still is. there? And I had the video. It is. Lemonade near Tomorrowland Expo Center. Cool. Millennium Falcon bucket. Remember they tried to shove fries in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> and then they just gave you the basket. Yeah. Oh, man. Galactic Girl and the popcorn and the Death Star. <clears throat> Low cube. You can, you can add it to your beverage at Galactic Girl. Probably the coolest, coolest one, honestly. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, Millennium Falcon Glow Cube as well. <laughs> okay. Probably the coolest thing here, though, dude. The Rancor Beer Flight Souvenir Board with four teeth. They've had this for years, right? The Rancor one? Yeah. What was oh, the other it one? It doesn't say new. I didn't know that they were Rancor teeth. Yeah. 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 Huh. The only reason why I know this is because Louis Messa got it. Hmm. I saw it on his Instagram. I'm like, dang. Or, quote, well, I was one of them. Somebody. It was just like that because that thing's like 100 bucks. 
Oh, is it? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it, Ogus. There's a Darth Vader premium mug, which includes fountain beverage or Dasani bottled water at Galactic Grill, and the Acid Spitter Orb Sipper, which has been around for yeah. ever. There are some treats at Star Wars Night that I just, I just want to take a quick look at. There's a Grogu candy apple, a pineapple and ube crescent sundae, so there's a croissant in there, The uh, at Tropical Hideaway. Whoa. Street style elote burger. That's nasty. Dude, it's guac, elote corn, like, uh, what's esquite? A gross looking burger and like some chipotle mayo for sure. Yeah. And the best one, I think. Oh, crab fritters. Oh, with the crab, the claws. Yeah, everything's in there, dude. Royal Street Veranda. And the cinnamon roll sundae from Gibson Grill Ice Cream. How do they not do this more? Cinnamon rolls has the, the layer buns. Come on. Yeah. And we always have to end <laughs> unharmoniously. Uh, no, like a fart in the wind, as we yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. First up, not a fart in the wind. Salt and straw, maraschino cherry with tie dye marshmallow fluff, pink and blue marshmallow Milky Way fluff with purple dark cherry ice cream. That might be good. Yeah, that sounds good actually. <laughs> you mix that, get a split scoop or two scoops with a chocolate. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Now you got a stew going. <laughs> <laughs> But here's here it is, Rain. Here it is. <laughs> Splitsville Luxury Lanes. The Cosmic Roll. Nori wrapped around sushi rice with tempura fried kanekama crab, avocado slices, jalapeno slice, and crispy garlic drizzled with eel sauce and sprinkled with black sesame seeds. Almost nothing about this is sushi. <laughs> yeah. That fried crab? Gross. I've never had it. No. No. I'm good. And the order 2018, which tells you <laughs> this is not new. Yeah. Why? And I mean, it says new. Gin, Italian liqueur, and fresh squeezed citrus. Is 2018 when the Splitsville opened? Maybe. Could Maybe. be. This is they're trying to do order 66, but it's like not even close. Yeah. I I appreciate the presentation, but people have been doing that for years. So what? The the limes as Yoda ears. Oh, I didn't even see them. Yeah. Okay. And then they, I've seen people rap uh, like Guildhall and Uptown Whittier. Uh, they've I had this, them, they have, they've had this for years and they wrap a napkin around the, the stem uh -huh. and it looks like Yoda's like, wow. Yeah, it's close. Huh. Oh, Splitsville. <laughs> Dude, we're, uh, we'll talk about it very soon. Uh, it's talking to Jeff about sports because mm -hmm. Jeff is like secret, not secret. It's just like no one's interested. He's like a huge Dodgers fan. You know, he's always got the hat on. Yeah. Dude, if there's a game, he's like checking the score, checking the highlights. Like, it's hilarious. And I respect it. Yeah. So we were like, how have we, he's like, how have we not gone? He's like, I love bowling. And I told him bowling slaps. And he's like, how have we not gone bowling? And I was like, it's not like the place we always hang out has a bowling alley. Splitsville. And he's like, how have we not gone there? Like, it's probably expensive. He goes, yeah. And we're thinking about it. There's also a cool bowling alley in Anaheim with a cool sign. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Right next to, um, Brewery X. Oh. Yeah. 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 It, it's like a like an industrial area. Hmm. But it's like an old school. Yeah, it's an old school. Yeah. So we might, bow, we, we might go bowling mm, cool. soon. Uh, but maybe at Splitsville. We'll see. If we could Splitsville the price. <laughs> um, if Only if they give us the bear lane. If they put us in the back. Oh, the bear lane. It's one lane by itself? No, it's two. Okay. You know, with the California. I've never been in there. It's in pictures that people post. And stuff. Wow. Yeah. That back room though? No. Nah. No, thank you. Please don't put us back there. Okay. So, Season of the Force. Sounds like they're making it more of a thing than it is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be very intrusive in the park at all. Because of Pixar. Fest, yes. Which, again, super awkward. <laughs> because all of Disneyland's Pixar stuff is in Tomorrowland. But they have season of the force going on. Yeah, but yeah. no, all of it, right? Buzz, uh, the the stupid pizza planet, pizza planet, the stupid dancing, Nemo, Nemo, right? Dude, mm -hmm. forgot about Nemo. Yeah, and it's all in Tomorrowland, which is season of the force. Wow, I'm thinking, is there anything else that's Pixar throughout the park? No, they wouldn't dare. Yeah, they wouldn't. Oh, they're doing, but they're taking over the theater. But that's not there now. 
Mm, yeah. Hmm. I would argue that there are some Pixar elements on Small World. Ooh. Oh, Toy Story. Yeah. Okay. It's close. Will we get Groot? <laughs> Who knows, dude? What an atrocity. <sighs> well, Tokyo Wood. Tokyo Wood. Yeah. Oh, I almost made a terrible joke. Uh, I will not. Okay. So, yeah, that's a season of the force. How do you, how do you feel? Yeah. Yeah. I'm honestly kind of happy that it's not a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. If you didn't know it was season of the force, you wouldn't know. Well, if, yeah. If, if <laughs> I'm kidding. Did you see I what I'm saying? What you mean. I get yeah. You. Like it's not, I don't think it's going to be in your face. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 So, uh, rain. That is our big thinner topic. So if this is your final stop. Thanks for jamming with us today. And if not, it's time for. I don't know. Episode short enough where I could play the thing. Are you playing yeah. anything? Rebirth? <laughs> Nothing but rebirth. I, uh, A lot of rebirth. I am able to exit Costa del Sol. Oh, you're, oh, you're catching up? Yeah, Cause... but I have like side quests to do there. Yeah, I'm doing the side quest from Costa del Sol still. Uh, almost finished all of the intel in that area. Oh, yeah. I haven't even started the intel. Yeah, and uh, did the next section of the game. Uh, Golden Saucer. And, oh, whoa. Yeah, I did all that. So I, oh, I so came back. back. I went back. Okay. Yeah. Dude, Queen, like I said, I've said before, Queen's Blood, one of the best mini games in, in a game I've ever played. Dude, I won't. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone. I know what you're talking about. That moment, yeah, it's hilarious. It was, it was awesome, hilarious. Yeah. Pure camp, but yeah. they knew what they were doing, <laughs> dude. This game is funny. <laughs> it is, and it is. It doesn't take itself seriously, and dude, I appreciate that so much, dude. When uh, when your new friend, as you're leaving the hotel, gives the speech, and Cloud just like cool, and walks, <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, <laughs> perfect. Moment. Uh, great game, dude. As I like see how they grew this game, yeah, I'm just like. It's weird. You can't call it like one of the best games ever because it's based on one of the best games ever. But like, man, now imagine, dude, Yuffie would kind of mess with this. But imagine you're not playing this right now, right? And then in the future, you just marathon them. Like this is your Final Fantasy VII. That that's insane. I do, and, think and you could play the whole. Well, the Crisis Core thing kind of messes with it. I think kind of does it a disservice almost, but. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's weird. Because they brought some stuff in. But yeah. Yeah. But I do think they're it is really cool to play the game first though. To play the original first. You have to. You have you technically yeah. have to. It is required reading. Yeah. But it's not required reading. It's part of the timeline. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. You need to. If you don't, it's not gonna make as much sense to you. And not like, oh, you won't know this little thing. It's like, no. Especially I know for a fact the way they'll wrap it up. Like, we don't actually know how they'll wrap it up. And because, Rebirth? No, or the, the whole thing. The whole thing, okay. That it will be very important to play the the original. Yeah. I Like I said, I've only ever gotten up to maybe five or so hours after Rocket Town. I don't, so I don't know the ending of the game at all. And you just don't know? I think I've watched some, like, retrospectives and stuff, but I don't remember any of it. So... All I'll say is, you know the big spoiler, but you don't know why any of it's happening, or you don't know like the overarching plot. Mm -mm. That'll be fun for you. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm glad I don't know. Mm. So yeah, but I'm very much enjoying that game. Yeah, who's it's your party? Oh, I just got a new party member, so I'm like oh, still messing, messing around. Yeah, before that, I feel like I haven't fought in a while because oh, because they keep <laughs> splitting you up and stuff. Dude, this game. It, you'll go like four or five hours between fights. Yeah. Because of these freaking mini games, which is fine. Dude, the mini games are deep. Yeah. Hey, I got perfect on the piano. You did. Well, yeah. I did it like back? after I texted you. No, no. After I texted you, I just did it again. Mm. And I got it. Was That was uh, Tifa playing. Yeah. I closed the deals. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got the star. You have to get all of them great and not miss one. Did you play Rocket League? <sighs> Dude, that was annoying. I didn't do the best time on that one. You didn't? I, I did I the did. middle. What do you get for that? Is some caller, I think. 
you get a better one in two hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. And right. who uses red? Who's I wish red? I did it, but I'm like, there's no trophy attached to this, right? Is there? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. I hope not. But dude, that was so annoying. That was, was fine. So I, no, I when the fun. bars come up, I got the second one, so it's not. That's yeah. not. That's bad. It's just so annoying. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I, oh, Eddie Burback Vision Pro video. Did you watch it? Chef's kiss, dude. Dude, that guy is okay. Guys, listen to me. You know what? There it is, dude. This is for yeah, the Burback. Except Eddie Burback looks like a cross between me and my cousin Armin. Yeah, he does. He so does. That's a little scary. But uh, what's going on? Oh, okay. It, it was actually informative. It was informative. And dude, he he gets what I've been saying. Yeah. You don't want that. Huh? That you don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah. He was like, is anyone else talking about this? I'm talking about it, Eddie. He's like, finally, Casey Neistat's talking about dude, it. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. No, I don't want to look at the screens. I want to be in the real world. And yeah. the fact that I won't, it's not spoilers, but I'm not going to spoil it. Like, you got to watch it just, and you could talk to us about it if you did. I feel like Hector will go watch it. <laughs> uh, he's a cultured man. Um, Eddie Burbeck's it. awesome. It's dude. so good. And there's, look, there's a little bit of silliness to it too, but he really like sat there and thought about this. Yeah. It's a really good video. And now I got to go watch that Kingdom Hearts video. <laughs> me too, dude. Yeah, I, haven't <laughs> I saw seen that. It. I'm like, excuse yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> We're just moving past this? He put the clip in there and yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> So, anyways, um, no, that was a great. Video. That was so good. I didn't even. I forgot to send it to you, but I'm like, I'm like, yeah, he probably got to it. Yeah. yeah, I, I kept before you had sent it to me. I was like, I need to Wait, watch. Did it. I send it to you? You did. Oh right, I did. You did. I did. But I right after you sent it to me, I'm like, fine, I need to watch this. Yeah. Now. I didn't watch it, but when I sent it to you, I watched mm. it. I finished it yesterday. Mm. It's so good though. The ending. Yeah. Oh man, that was art, pure art. <laughs> yeah. He's dude. He's he's matured from him, his old videos. Let him cook. No, yeah. I think the old videos, even like. Rainforest Cafe. I think since then he's mature. But I think yeah, since then he has. Yeah. But that wasn't immature if you think about it. He's he's more tongue in cheek in that video. Mm-hmm. But he's still making a statement. Yeah. You know, he's just being more silly on purpose. But yeah, that was great. Um, I do want to talk about. I don't know if you've played this. Have you played a way out? No. No, I played through the whole thing. With who? Brandy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How'd she do? Uh, I she- heard it's tougher than it takes to. For someone who doesn't play games. Yes, because at one point it becomes a third person shooter. Oh. Yeah. And the brandy's like, are you kidding me? Like, you choose your gun and you're like, oh, you're gonna go shoot a couple things, right? Nah, it's like full on levels of guys rushing you and stuff. So and the two sticks. And the two sticks, yeah. And so I had to carry for a while. Uh, uh but phenomenal story, dude. Maybe invert her sticks, maybe. Maybe it'll click. Dude. There was times when I would see her, she's hiding, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get that guy now. And and then all of a sudden his little thing goes away and she's like oh I got him I was like all right let's go nice <laughs> so between these four okay let's say you and Kimmy play all right between these four guns all right mm-hmm. we have a rifle stock action it's, it takes place in 1972 so just a bolt action rifle oof uh, M16 so a burst three burst uh, shotgun and like an Uzi uh huh. Okay, where are you where are you going? You got you, you only Me? get one. Yeah, I'm going M16. The the three verse. I like the three verse. Yeah, I like it too. Kimmy can have the shotgun, just in case. <laughs> just in case they rush her. Because the Uzi has the recoil, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so the shotgun. I was I was doing the rifle for a while, because it's like I I can get them from far, you know. Yeah, I like the burst, like dude. Uh, I forgot what. Mita multi tool, on Destiny. Yeah, I love that. The, I remember that. the scout rifle. The Still, best. probably the best shooter ever, I would say. Destiny, Sh- like mechanics wise and everything, feels the best. It feels yeah. the best. All the other stuff, mm-hmm. story, know. yeah, no, dude. Mida multi tool was my favorite because aim down sights and radar are still there, mm. which I needed because RJ is always like, dude, you don't check your radar. I'm like, I do not. <laughs> uh, and then one final thing, the guns. Oh, okay, brothers. Tale of Two Sons. I've never played that one. Okay, that was also Joseph Ferris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you control both brothers with the sticks. One brother a stick, right? Yes. But PlayStation has a new system where or setting where you can use two controllers as one controller. Uh. So if you want it, it's cheating, but also fun. You and Brandy could each be a brother. Just don't touch the other stick. Right, right. Like, because you could both technically use both sticks, mm-hmm. but basically, like, 
you can use use your right hand because I'm sure she knows how to use the left stick. Mm -hmm. Give her the the left brother. You get the right brother. But if she can't figure something out, you don't have to take the controller. You just use yours. Yeah. So you would just have to play one handed, and you guys can kind of do that. We'll see. Un but unintended co op game. All of his games are, I'm um, seriously amazing. Brandy still talks about it takes two and we played it like three years ago. Dude, did you hear how many copies it sold? How many? 16 million. Woo! And you get, a, if you if your friend doesn't have it, they can play it for free yeah. without buying it. So they sold 16 million copies, and that doesn't count Game Pass. Wow. It won Game of the Year that year, right? It did. Yeah. Shout out to dude. Serious Talk, amazing. Top tier game. It's in my top 20 or so. It takes two. Wow. Yeah. I haven't played it. Story. Oh, you haven't? You should play with Kim in the future. Yeah, we gotta have time. We don't even finish it, puzzles, you know. Yeah, yeah, that it takes. I think like a seven, eight hour game. Yeah, um, but it takes two is a lot more mature. No, just serious, more serious story yeah. than it takes two. Um, awesome, awesome story. Like it was, it was very, very good, very good and fun. Cool. So yeah, yeah, we'll check it out someday. But yeah. Uh, Matthew wants to know when we're hell diving or we're rebirthing, dude. Yeah, that's a thing. It's so good. That's a thing. It's, it's like so good. If I'm playing, if I'm not playing rebirth, I feel like I'm wasting time. Uh, Video game wise. Yeah, yeah. So it's like if I'm yeah. if I'm going to play anything else, no. I think I'm free and clear because I got one of the smiley faces at blue and the other at green. Oh yeah. Mm. And then I could just pick all the good ones. So there's three answers to every conversation. One's just bad. The other is good. So it'll just help your party, right? And then the other is great. Okay. So there's great, good, and then just bad. So I've been picking good for one, great for the other. Yeah. And I did the which side you pick, first battle, like who you help first. Close to Del Sol. Uh, I went. I. Oh my god! I don't know. Uh, okay. Aerith and Red were on the on the left. sand on the left. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you went. I went with the other one. Okay. Yeah. Because that deepens the relationship. Okay. On whoever you go to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Was Barrett there? Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Do you remember? I love how he just likes the sailor outfit. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm down. <laughs> Have you, uh, do you remember the sequence of everything that happens in the game? Kind of, yeah. So, like, you we're remember? Not, we're not getting exposed, don't worry. Yeah, do you, you remember where you're going next? And yeah, then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. It is. Okay. It is now time for We Have It So Good. Are we in the Tram Fam talk about our trips to Disney parks and more? Right in with your trip recaps at tramcom slash ask. Rain, have you gone? I have not. You haven't even been nowhere? Nope. All right. Went to the Brea Improv Friday. How was that? I'll fine. pull something up. It was fine. It was fine. I saw uh, David Tell. I didn't even know he went. He's like big on Netflix right now. Oh. He's in top three things on Netflix. His stand up. He's funny. He's a funny guy, but yeah, that's fine. So yeah, uh, the plan was uh, to go to Great Maple with the boys mm -hmm. uh, because they foolishly thought we could just stroll into strong water on a Friday. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> yeah, no, guys, it doesn't work. Like we're that. going to Great Maple. Yeah, and then I, uh, I, I, I flashed the bat signal, mm -hmm. and Peyton showed up. So I get there. Matthew's already chilling. I wear my Paradise Pier sweater. Uh, they all slowly realized what I was wearing. Uh, shout out to Kimmy. And Peyton's like, hey, guys, uh, I brought hot cookies from Harbor Galley and Cajun popcorn from uh, Galaxy's Edge. All right. He brought the, the baker's dozen, dude. Yeah. I never had them. Oh, you had it? I, Jeff says there's too much butter for them to be pre-bought dough. I still think it's pre-bought dough. I, I think so, too. I don't think they're making it. There's something. It's toll, it's toll housey. No, it, yeah, but it's not toll house. No, it's not. But it has that. There's the oil. Yeah. It's not just butter. There's oil in there. Yeah. And it ain't real. They're good. I like them. I like them. Nice and crispy. But I don't know if it deserves the the crazy lines. and. Is there a crazy? Oh, you mole it, order. Yes. But even then, the, the yeah. molar line is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's just hot cookies, which is, that's a big deal. But yeah. McDonald's has hot cookies. These are better than McDonald's. Yeah. But they're not like. They're not better than Costco. Costco. That fat one. Oh, I haven't had that. Yeah. You haven't? No, maybe I gotta go to the freaking tire center again. Yeah. The tire I bought, there's a bulge in the side. Mm. So Will then, Costco cover it? Yeah. Nice. They cover like everything except the tire wearing out. Yeah. Nice. 
but you got to go wait. And they're like, oh, appointment, which means nothing. Yeah. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to take my laptop this time and just sit down and like work or watch videos or do whatever, you mm-hmm. know, like uh, tether all that. I just didn't have it last time. And it was just so do I eat pizza. I got the chicken bake already. Yeah. Yeah. Get hit the pizza. Hit the cheese. Oh, no. But you take, take the pill. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Take the pill. Che- plain cheese. Plain cheese. It hits, dude. It hits. I honestly choose that over the pepperoni now. Because huh. it's double cheese. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll skip the ice cream and get the cookie. Yeah. I got ice cream last time, the strawberry. It was good. I did have it. Yeah. Very good stuff. Churro? R.I.P., dude. Screw you. Yeah, it's Not good. Gone. Gone. Not good. Maybe, maybe you sneak a little hot dog in on the side. <laughs> hot dog combo with a pizza? It's a lot. It is, but it's also 350. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we uh we chowed down a little bit, ate uh Peyton grabbed Freddie that Tomorrowland uh spirit jersey. Oh nice. Yeah. And then uh we went up to Great Maple and uh I'm gonna pull up the Great Maple menu. For fun. you'll see why. Oh, right, there's like a ton of them. Uh sat down, they had to bring me a chair because they put us at a booth with like no end and mm. then like i don't know it was fine so we sat down got some food got some drinks so freddie got the burger said it was delicious uh jeff saw the ribeye sandwich because i told him about it and he goes oh and he got it like without tomato and onion no onion is fine but no tomato and now it's like what's left yeah like just arugula a yeah so he, i think he liked it matthew got the hot honey chicken we we're all looking at the ribs they are big ribs but we didn't get them uh, so Matthew saw the chicken sandwich and then it came and it had two patties. He goes, Dude, that's crazy. There's two of these, whatever, like guys. And he starts to split it. And then it was like, there's cheese and stuff stuck to it. So he didn't split it. And then we turned around and turned back and it was gone. <laughs> he ate the whole thing. <laughs> oh, wow. I would have eaten the whole thing too. It's not like he ate a lot. It's just yeah. like, yeah, it was good. I got the BLT because it said piled high, thick cut smoked bacon. Lettuce, tomato, aioli, toasted levain with fries. All right. All right. Thick, I want to know how many maple Piled did. high, thick cut smoked bacon. <laughs> Where's the I beef? knew it. I knew it. Oh, God. I wonder, maple strikes again, dude. dude. I'm going to. Uh, I want to. I want to. <laughs> I got like poor Freddie's face in here. So I don't want to like. It's not bad. I'm just. Freddie, I'm sorry. You're just. You're getting blasted on YouTube. <laughs> Paula. Paula. Check out. Piled high. Thick cut smoked bacon. Nothing. <laughs> There's like nothing there. <laughs> dude, it was max three, four strips of bacon. Yeah. They were thick bacon. Dude, dude just for the the mere fact. The audacity. Yeah, that is audacity. For them to say piled high. Yeah, that's the problem. If they yeah. just said BLT. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's a BLT. Yeah. Piled high. They piled the lettuce high. Yeah. Dude, not It wasn't even good. Yeah. It wasn't that good. That doesn't look good. And even Jeff. Like when I, we're, we're all deciding, right? We're yeah. all like consulting with each other. He goes, ooh, I go for a BLT right now. Dude, not good at all. And they gave him this bread for the the ribeye milk, which oh, used really? to be different. Yeah, yeah, it was different. Dude, uh, so not good, but they did bring us a bunch of ranch for the fries. Nice, thin Wa- ranch. Oh, not okay. watery, but drips off. Yeah, good. Very the good. ranch was perfect. We all said the ranch was good. Uh, Peyton got a chicken Caesar salad. It honestly looked delicious. Mm. So, dude, mid maple strikes again, dude. dude. Wow, it's that's it. We're that's where we're at now. Uh, Freddie immediately was like tropical mermaid, <laughs> like right didn't, away. Didn't even think. Yeah, uh, Jeff got the fresh cucumber gimlet. He liked it because it's very good. I got the summer sunset vodka, Campari, mango, lemon club soda. Pretty good. We didn't get any apps. I thought about us getting the ribs and just splitting that as an appetizer, like a psycho, but we didn't do that. Hold on. Valerie went today. Uh, hold on. I'm like, I got to get an Instagram. Uh, let's go. DM. Okay. So Valerie went and in her caption, she wrote chicken tortilla salad, three out of five, huge portion, a little one note for me, wanted more flavor. Yeah. What even is that? Is it like a taco salad, but like healthy with bag chips? Yeah. So, actually, we could look up what that is. But 
we're not done yet. Uh, okay, let's listen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where do they hide the salads? Pulled chicken, piquillo peppers, roasted corn, toy box, tomatoes, queso fresco, avocado, romaine, cilantro, lime vinaigrette, tortilla chips. So I said, this place went from great maple at opening to mid maple more recently. I've been there like four times now with different people. I think I've been there four times. Mm. So the service was terrible. I'm not super impressed, to be honest. I had bad service at the lunch one, but dinner service has always been decent. Yeah. I'd say good. Yeah. Nothing outstanding, but good. The only time I had bad was the first day of the open. Yeah. So I said it's been hit or miss. Dinner service is better than lunch, but I've liked it less and less each visit. Right. I think the drinks are actually good. Mm. And so are the appetizers. So maybe you just go sit at the bar, grab a couple of drinks, get like the mac and cheese, the mushrooms. It's an app, please. Have you had the mushrooms? I did. They're phenomenal. Dude. dude. So let's see what they got. Mushroom fries, mac and cheese. They got the hummus with the bread. Mm. Valerie's a hummus plate person. She That's what she has at the movie theater. Mm. Why do I know that? She posts it every time. <laughs> uh, pork sausage. I don't okay. know. Oh, I guess you get sour cream and onion scallop potatoes. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. The Parmesan truffle fries were decent. Not, now, this is like, I would say if you had got a dinner rest somewhere else or dinner plans, go sit at the bar, get a drink and the mushrooms. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, the mac and cheese. I don't want to eat at the bar with the mac and cheese, right? Yeah, but the mushrooms. Uh, yeah. And Imagine it, that with a tropical mermaid it, or it's something. It's a big portion too. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. So it's good stuff. Yeah. I think the move is if you just, you got some sort of weird hankering. Yeah. The tropical mermaid is delicious. The, those, the coffee is delicious. Oh, the one that the, yeah, Kimmy had. Kim, yeah. The one Kimmy had. She got lucky, I guess. And the uh, espresso martini is great. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Mid maple, dude. And it, dude, all this. Hold I, on, oh, let me guess. Okay. I'm gonna guess. You, you have you have the the amount, right? Uh, I have the after discount amount. But okay. I think I could remember. Okay, so there was. I remember with the with that before the discount before tip. Freddie Jeff. <laughs> okay, so five of you. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say two hundred and forty. No, wait, that was high. That's high. Matthew doesn't drink. Freddie didn't get it. Uh, Peyton didn't get a drink. Oh, uh, okay. So let's go again. 190. 204. So, okay. But after discount was 190. Okay. Uh, we got a 20% off. After tip, $234.23. Yeah. Yeah. So For that? For that BLT? Ah, uh, dude. Yikes. But the ribs? Dude, they were like uh, 20 something. Like mm. they were way under the price that we said, thirty four ninety nine. Okay. So they did look good when I saw them pass by and they come with some good sides. But I don't know. Regrets anymore, dude. after the BLT. Dude, I wish I got the ribs. Yeah. I wish I got literally anything else. <laughs> That's sad. Dude, it's miserable. Dude, honestly, the Norms one I guarantee is way better. Uh, Norms is gross, dude. It is. They have the canned turkey. Oh, they do. That I judge a place by their club sandwich. Yeah. And when you got canned turkey, I'm out. Spam? Great. Can turkey? No. Yeah. R.I.P. to the Denny's Club sandwich. They just have the California Club now. It's, mm. like, it's not the same. Uh, yeah. So then we were uh, scheming, and Matthew's like, hey, let's go to the hotel lounge and then go to Knott's, to the hotel bar. And I was like thinking of where I live. Mm-hmm. And I was also like, guys, why don't we just go to Knott's? Like, yeah. do we we got to go to the lounge? And everyone's like, yeah, let's just go to Knott's. So we're trying to figure out how to park, the meter, the validation, whatever. We, we just hit the road. We'll figure it out when we get there. It's Knott's, right? Mm-hmm. Like, as I get on the 5 or the 91, I think, Freddie calls me. And he goes, hey, I called them. They said the hotel's not officially open. They're not charging for parking. They probably do during the day, but we just drove right up. The booth was just open, and we just parked. So we walked in. Uh, this is the outside. The front of the hotel is redone. It looks like a nice Grand California. Oh, wow. Really? But the side still looks like this. Okay. Little ominous. Reeked of weed. <laughs> Not, man. Really bad. Yeah. Like, really bad. Uh, headed in. Beautiful, dude. Okay. So, I'm going to... I'm gonna a little, a little for the camera. You could pause. So, this this leads to an outdoor, like, courtyard where you can, like, wow. have events. Wow. Well, it's loading slowly. Wow. Yeah. So there's like a nice area with like string lights and all that. Yeah. 
Uh, this was like the, the check-in counter, the Knott's Hotel, look at that ceiling. That, though, is the Taco Bell drop ceiling, uh, which that's fine. Uh, I that's, would, a, that's a sticker, isn't it? No, no. They're 3D, but they're the tiles. The tiles, okay. Yeah. And then this is the lobby. Whoa. Those are the knots right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice lights. If you go look at the old pictures, this is it's bad. And then we went and sat at the bar. I got the uh, bourbon, boysenberry bourbon smash. Oh, that sounds great. It was pretty good. Yeah. They, uh, there was a, Matthew got a, I don't know if they took out any ingredients. I'm pretty sure he got a full fat boysenberry mojito. I think he had a drink. What? Okay. Let me, <laughs> let me ask him. Uh, Dude, if we go to that tiki bar and he doesn't get a drink, I'm going to be upset. Okay. Hold on. Um, let me, let me bat signal Matthew. How do you bat signal? Oh, okay. At? No, you type the name and you click it. I'm sure. Can you at? Yeah, you can at. Would, to the contact name. Hmm. I just typed his name in it. Hmm. Anyways, Matthew, did you get a full fat mojito at Knott's? Or... Um, okay. All right. So, yeah, that was pretty good. And there's this dessert menu sitting in front of us. Oh, it's boysenberry. It's time. boysenberry, yeah. And Jeff's like, I got to get the pie. And he's like, let me get the pie. And everyone's like, I don't want dessert. I don't want dessert. And I'm like, they had a brownie, but it was just a regular brownie. I've had, my mom has made this probably out of a box. Who cares? A fudge brownie, but like, you know, turtle. But instead of caramel, boysenberry. Actually, they might have been from Knott's, mm-hmm. you know, the mix. That was delicious. They didn't have any chocolate boysenberry thing. They had a gelato with the cookies. And I'm like, ah, oh, maybe. But then I was like, you know, give me the boysenberry cheesecake. Rain, I think you would have liked this. Really? It wasn't a cheesy cheesecake. It was sweet. Interesting. Because you don't, what don't you like about the cheesecake? The tartness? Yeah, the that initial, you know, like when you eat sour cream and it's that yeah. initial like, mm. Yeah, this, need, is, uh. this is more like a sweet cream. Okay. It's, I can do that. So a little like cream cheese, but yeah. like it was sweet. And tons of boysenberry, dude, with the nice, it was like a coconut crust. Nice. Which kind of added to it. This is like a heavy whipped cream, and I don't, there's a little piece of chocolate, and that's boysenberry drizzle. Oh, did, right. I got to show, did, the, show the fan. Did they have regular food there? Uh, like a full menu? Maybe. Okay. We didn't even look. Okay. Oh, because it's in the restaurant, but they have a bar, full service bar. Jeff even like asked for a different type of bourbon, and the guy couldn't find it. Jeff's like, it's over there. He like <laughs> clocked it, dude. Uh, so, yeah, this was uh, pretty good. Nice. So we had a good time, dude. Good vibes at the bar. Yeah, I want to go. Uh, shout out to Griffith J. Griffith. Uh, not shout out, <laughs> uh, but just look him up. It's fun stuff. So, yeah, you'd enjoy it. Dude, there's no one there at night. Yeah. You just walk in. But, yeah, there's a full restaurant uh, with good looking food. Cool. I don't know. Uh, someday we'll go to the chicken restaurant again. I, I got to go to Knott's, dude. I have this pass and I, I pay for it every month. So I got to go. Matthew said, Oh, I got crunk, baby. <laughs> Listen, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Fat mojito. Freddie said, sending cheers from Freddie's True Life Adventure Bar. <laughs> and uh, the tiki glass. Did I bullet? Yeah. Damn him, dude. That's a 33. What? Club 33 tiki glass. Oh, he would. He would. He would. But, dude, I bullied him into using tiki mugs. <laughs> uh, and Matthew's in his office. Oh, I guess, dude. We oh, see- I have the same mixer. This, this whole little setup right here. So here, here's the part where we send them a selfie and everyone... Oh, I got the, must, the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> and then we uh, make all the listeners bored. Maybe <laughs> we'll post this because we don't have Season of the Force photos. Uh, we'll put uh, love from on the air. Then that was it. We went, oh, we went home afterwards. I asked Jeff, okay, remember when I said I can't hang out Saturday? We do Easter Eve. Yes. And then Jeff was just like, me too. And we moved on. And I'm like, Jeff, what's your thing? And they just, he's like, it's an Italian thing. I go, I'm sure. But what's your it's thing? Italian? Yeah. I know he that. said that on the show. I don't remember. But anyway, oh, maybe right before we recorded, but you were here. But basically, his family just preps all of Sunday's food. I'm like, that sounds great. Mm. So. Yeah, shout out to the boys. Uh, we'll be seeing the men soon. That we will. Yeah. 
Uh, so Kevin and I will be at DCA Thursday, April 18th for the PB&J Whiskey Shake. We're going no matter what. If yeah. you want to just swing by, it's okay. a Star Wars night, though. But we're just like, dude, I'm going the 19th with my aunt, and then food and wine end Sunday. That's crazy. So, so that's crazy. Time. This is, this time is like, is a flat this is like circle, three dude. weeks, though. Right. It's just, but it's just like I have like no reservations until then. Dude, I don't. I have the 18th, the 19th, and my birthday. Yeah, that's it. And Kimmy's like, "Let's go." She's like, "There's a. I'm free Wednesday. I'm usually not." And I'm like, "Wednesday's book." She's like, "Oh, what do you have?" I go, "No, no, the park." is booked for this week. Yeah. Because Kevin and I were like just sitting there looking and I'm like, dude, uh, it's not happening this week. Uh, happy crazy. anniversary, Kevin in America. But um, yeah. So that was it for that. Oh, I timed out of the DMV. Screw the DMV, man. I got to go to AAA. How ridiculous is it that I can call the DMV and say, you forgot to mail my registration. And like, we have your old address. I'm like, my registration from last year has my current address. How do you have my old address? It's the DMV for you. Yeah, man. and they're like, "Oh, it's yeah, we have that one." I go, "I lived there before I bought this car." <laughs> and they're like, "I'm like, can you change my address?" They go, "Well, if I change the address, I have to mail you the registration. It takes three to four weeks, or you can go to AAA and they'll do it while you're standing there." And I'm like, "Why can they do it? And but you, you can't. can't. Yeah. You are the Department of Motor Vehicles." <laughs> it's got to be probably one of the worst sectors of the government, dude. It really is. Just ridiculous ridiculous uh okay i forgot that we have like more things to talk about <sighs> okay let me take a nice sip yeah and i'll do i'm dry over here all right joey writes in hey guys i know it's been a while since the last time i wrote in six months now i believe but i have a lot happening in my life my wife and i will be expecting our first child next month oh, congratulations yeah <laughs> Congrats. We are super excited. I'm ready to take on the role of amazing girl dad. Nice. Nice. Get the hat. It's a hat, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, as a late Christmas gift in January, my wife. <laughs> but I, I had to let the other one be happy, and then we're going here. Uh, bought me a three-day SoCal pass <laughs> that I can use anytime up until April 20th. After that, I'll be locked down until our daughter arrives. She told me to go have fun and enjoy myself at the parks. I did my first solo trip. Do a baby moon. Yeah. I Anna K. Fan of the moons. Yeah. Yeah. She, she is a fan the, of the They moons. did the baby moon. Yeah. And then the. And the honeymoon. Yeah. Okay. Did my first solo trip on March 9th to DCA. Bought a sip and saver pass. He spelled it saver with an E, but that is that, is it a pun? Not that he did it that. It is a pun. But did. Saver and saver. Yeah. yeah it did, is. is. I that, never realized. Yeah. Huh. Good job. Disney was it was it Nicole? I don't know. Michael Eisner coming back from the past. Dude. Uh, and tried to eat as much as possible, but I bit off more than I could chew. Got to work on my dad puns. I only used three tabs, and I had five left. So I rode Soren over California for the first time in nearly fifteen years. Really quick. Did you buy the sip and saver? Nah. Yeah, I, I knew it. So. I knew. I was I like, knew, I knew it too. It's gonna I be rough this year. Yeah. I just felt it in my bones. Yeah. Because we started St. Tramon's Day. Yeah. That was my first food and wine experience. And we were 17 days in. Or no, 14 because it was the 15th. And I was like, ooh, it's already late. Yeah. If you're there at the soft opening, you buy the thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. It was wonderful to be able to experience it again. I took advantage of Genie Plus and I was able to ride Guardians, Soren Twice, Goofy Sky School, Car Single Rider, and Little Mermaid. Annoying that this is on Genie Plus. Park got insanely busy, but I was able to make my way to Lamplight Lounge and sit at the bar. I was able to open an ocean, open ocean and take in the cool breeze and perfect weather. Around five, I decided it was time to go, and I walked around downtown Disney for a bit before making my way back to the hotel for the evening. My second trip was a few weeks later on March 24th at the beginning of spring break. I was down in Anaheim for a teacher conference, and I was going to use my second day. He's got all the puns already. He's a teacher. I thought of this. Okay. Uh, use up the rest of my sip and saver tabs at DCA. That morning, I decided to change my reservation last minute and switch to Disneyland. I know I spent my money on sip and savory tabs, but after thinking about it, I decided to make the switch around 7.30 in the morning. I didn't know you could switch the same day. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's cool. Good to know. I passed off my unused tabs to another teacher at the conference, and when she told me her family would be going to DCA later in the day, oh, okay. Nice, pay it forward. Yeah. I made my way to the park around 1.00. 
And this turned out to be the best decision by going to Disneyland instead of DC. I went to Plaza Inn for lunch and found a table right in front of the windows overlooking Main Street. The weather was perfect with a slight breeze. There was a storm coming in later. It's raining, man. I was able to do Matterhorn Single Rider, Walked on Runaway Railway, Roger Rabbit, Winnie the Pooh, Star Tours, Space Mountain Single Rider, Pirates, Mr. Toad, and did two circle tours around the park. The rain hit around five, so I hopped on the monorail and went to downtown Disney, where I enjoyed the Wagyu Steakhouse Burger at Black Tap. Then hopped back. That's the one you got, right? No, you got the Norman or something. Yeah, Greg Norman. Greg Norman. <laughs> uh, okay. Where, where were we? Black Tap. Did another round. Okay. Hopped back on the monorail after the storm passed. When I got back to the park, I did another round on Star Tours and got a new scene from Rise of Skywalker. Around 9 p.m., I got myself a waffle cone single scoop of cookie dough ice cream from Gibson Girl while waiting for fireworks. But with the wind, I knew it wasn't going to happen. I made my way to Rise of the Resistance and the standby time said 30 minutes, but I only waited 15. Nice. After riding Rise of the Resistance, I hopped back on the train and rode it to Main Street, where I made my exit back to my hotel. It was an amazing ending to a wonderful trip. On a side note, the day I drove over to the Irvine... On the next day, I drove over to the Irvine Spectrum and watched Dune Part 2 in 70mm IMAX. <laughs> and I was completely blown away. As a huge Dune fan, I'm excited to see how Denis Villeneuve... Villeneuve. Villeneuve? Okay. Yeah. We'll wrap up Part 3 with Dune Messiah. My last trip is scheduled for April 13th, and I'll be going with a friend who hasn't been to the parks in over 10 years. Sorry for the long write-up, but it's been an exciting past few months, and I'll be even more excited when my daughter arrives in May. Definitely have it so good. Those are a solid few trips, Dude. man. What a yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, sounds awesome. Yeah, uh, you deserve it, man. Yeah, congrats on mm. becoming a dad, uh, and congrats to your wife on becoming a mom. Yeah, Dude. parents, more tramming babies. There are, are there are. are our voice soothing enough to put babies to sleep? Drink up Disney says so. I want to. I want to know the first baby that's going to be named Kirk or Rain. Don't, don't don't put it out there. I don't I don't want it. I don't want don't do it. You don't want you don't want the the burden? No. No. <laughs> I got to forever, dude. Oh, you you put the stash thing. Yeah. Are we all going to grow out our stashes? Can these Jeff can. Oh yeah. Dude, Jeff with a mustache? I mean, that's interesting. I feel like he was born with a mustache. <laughs> he was Italian, man. Yeah, dude. Okay. Um I actually did ask Drink Up Disney. Drink Up Disney gave us a scoop. I don't know if we could scoop the scoop, you know? Because mm. I wrote, like, how much can I read on the show? Okay. So uh, she said, saw someone who works in production say first day of school with a wink emoji and theorizing that it means a Monsters University or Finding Nemo musical might be coming to the Hyperion. Finding Nemo musical. So it's like in Animal Kingdom. Yeah. I saw that. Not bad. It's the, I wonder if the meme helped it at all. If the guy. Oh, the, where is my dad thing? I, I don't know the meme. You don't? Or no. the little kid has the, the Nemo. Uh, No. It, it, so it's like a song? Yeah. It's it's uh always like memeing like, why can't my dad buy me this? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know of another meme. Uh, that I'm trying to look up for you. Uh, Kimmy will uh, airdrop this every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Can't show this on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, wait, did I say that he said we definitely have it so good? I don't know. I don't remember. We do. Well, we do. He does. Yeah. We, I don't right know. Now, we, I don't we, know. We know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's rough out there. He got lucky. Not lucky. He went on a rainy day. Yeah. Uh, which... I need, dude. I think next year, I'm gonna buy rain boots, so you can go to the parks, dude. I'll be singing "Nothing Can Stop Us Now" the whole time. Yeah, the rain. It's the shoes. Yeah, the you know you wear, dude. I wear the little uh, the the Patagonia. Yeah, the, the new, windbreaker. Yeah, it will be fine. No, that's like waterproof. Mm -hmm. But it's got the sticky stuff in it. Mm. But and like pants, usually they don't get that wet. You you the gotta shoes. buy the the those Kirkland pants. I bought a couple of pairs. They're 20 bucks. Apparently, Kirkland has a North Face version or North Face type jacket now, even with the little zipper and the call. Uh, Eddie at work bought it. Yeah. He goes, dude, it's just as good. 20 bucks. 
That's insane. North Face 150. That's insane. You know what jacket I'm talking about? Yeah, I yeah. know what jacket. Is Kirkland clothes? I, I think I read somewhere that it's like one of the top clothing manufacturers in the company. Yeah, you know the what their problem now? is? What? I can't try them on there. Yeah. And yeah, then returning at Costco is the worst thing ever. It's not the worst because they take anything back. No. It's not the, fries. The experience of doing the return is like there's some lady returning her frozen fish sticks. Yeah. And a cake. Yeah. And like. And you got to wait an hour. Yeah. You know, to return. I, I know. But I guess you could just buy all the sizes. Yeah. But yeah. Just trying stuff on this problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rain. What time is it? It's pizza time. It's time for one last bite. Rain as always. What is the best thing you tasted this week? So Sunday was a, I think it was a rainy day, right? There was, there was, there was a storm. Oh, right. going oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dude, we grilled in the rain. Oh, you did? Okay. You yes, I saw that. I saw that. Um, so because of that, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a good Sunday, Sunday dinner. I ended up making essentially the big beef. The Italian beef from from uh, Portillo's. So I slow roasted some beef chuck. Put some, dude, secret sauce right here. Put a can of pepperoncinis in the slow cooker in the the crock pot. Cook okay. that with the beef chuck, with like some salt, pepper, and other Did stuff. You drain the pepperoncinis? No. Oh no! You put them all in, dude. Just put the whole thing in. I should have taken the stems off. Okay. Yeah, but other than that. Um, they like oh they were whole they were whole oh I thought it was like chopped okay. no they're like the sweet peppers that Portillo's uses ah. yeah because it soaks up when the au jus well, they weren't pickled no well I don't know the pepperoncinis yeah okay were they like sour they are like yeah okay so they they were in like the pickled juice yeah type. okay yeah yeah anyways anyways but you just pour that in yeah. and then let it roast and then I I had like some buns it was it was great dude. It was seriously one of the best things we ever made. Nice. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to the carne asada we made Sunday. <laughs> I had Jaime from work go pick it up from Los Dos Toros Okay. in Huntington Park. Oh, wow. You no, know, it's good. Dude, yeah. You could tenderize to death, uh -huh. but super tender. The chicken, I didn't have some in the fridge. It was fine. It's those little short chorizos that aren't too spicy. Yeah. Like, you know, you could like eat it like a hot dog and it's not going to destroy your taste buds. Mm -hmm. But the, the carne asada... I got sick of it years ago, but either they stepped up their game or I forgot what it tasted like. It was amazing. Kimmy's whole family was like, where did you get this? And I'm like, I got a plug. The ghetto, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but look, we all know. Yeah. They're, and Kimmy's like, what's Huntington Park like? It's, ac it's actually not a bad place. It's just like, don't you. I always get mixed up with Huntington Park, Highland Park. Okay. Highland Park is the uh, hipster hipsters. Hill. Yeah. Huntington Park is like little Mexico. Okay. Like I know, oh yeah, California, everyone's Mexican. No, no, no. Like the primary language in Huntington Park is Spanish. And that's fine. But Huntington Park is where you go for the good meat. It's where you go to get your like car reupholstered. Uh -huh. It's where, you, you know, there's always like the, the Mexican craftsman. There's just like that guy that knows how to do the thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like you have that one sewer, right? Mm -hmm. That's just like, why? Because. Yeah. yeah. yeah so Huntington Park is that place. Okay. Uh, it's like near LA. Whatever. Never go there. It's it's hilarious. Yeah, they, if you don't live there, there's no reason to go there. They don't have like a hipster restaurant. It's okay. just like the guy with the place. Yeah. Uh, so it's funny because I know people who moved to Highland Park, and they're like, "Oh, HP." I'm like, "Listen, HP is Huntington Park. HLP is Highland Park. Mm. Big difference." Um, great meat, but I'm gonna give the number one of that boysenberry cheesecake. It wasn't the best cheesecake I've ever had. It was just a pleasant surprise. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was great. Uh I liked it. It was just late night. You're like, oh, I'm done eating. And you're like, I'm gonna eat a cheesecake. It was huge, dude. It was like a quarter of a cheesecake. Uh yeah. And I tried Jeff's pie. I can't eat a whole pie with just fruit in it. No. No. I love I love too that much. Stuff. You have ice cream all the mood? He did, but they, they weren't eating much of the ice cream. I'm like, dude, you can't. Well, yeah. yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, good stuff. And finally, Rain, what is your one next bite? I'm saying the PB, the PB uh, whiskey milkshake. It's you gotta it, make I, it happen. I, I got to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to get that for sure. That and the pastrami fries mm. at Smoke Jumpers. That's gonna be my wombo combo. Okay. 
Seasick burrito, I don't know if it's going to make the cut. Yeah. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to do the pastrami fries and the PB&J whiskey shake. I'm also interested in a lot of the the season of the four stuff. Yeah. So if I go That's to Doc... The, I don't know if we... We didn't say these words. This starts Friday. Yeah. So I'm not going to be there until after Friday. So I might just go to Docking Bay. Screw food and wine at this point, dude. <laughs> there, Guys... It's not going to be an episode this year. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm glad we did the hype episode. Uh, we just couldn't make it. It's it's ridiculously busy right now. So. Dude, I, it, this is spring break part two. Uh, now that... What, what's the word? What What's the quote? I messed it up here. What? Uh, the, the Star Wars quote. This there's is where the fun begins? No, there's two of them. Uh-oh. The Japanese guys. Oh, the, 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 now, now there are two of them. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> now there are two of them. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what the spring break feels like. But I t- middle of the day, especially because Kimmy was like, wanted to go tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I go, hey, it's like 11 a.m., dude. Not even, maybe 10. Go, hey, check the wait times. Space 95, buzz 50. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's quite busy out there, uh, but we made it the end of another episode, another happy landing. And with that, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next week. See you real soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks for traveling with us today, and we hope you have a happy and memorable visit to the Disneyland Resort. Please lower your head, watch your step, and exit to the driver's right-hand side only. <laughs> <laughs>